I'm your host, Dick Masterson. With me, as always, is Sean, the audio engineer. It's the only show in the world where you can hear the zingers of Sean, the legendary one-liner kingpin, the audio engineer. Hello, Dick. What's up, buddy? Hello, dickheads. Uh, who needs some mansplaining done to them right now? I'm boiling over with it. I'm fucking bursting with mansplaining, man. I just need, I need to get it out of me like a poison. Like, I need a Sibian of just a, a mansplaining that I can do and sit there and write it completely the fuck out of me. What do you think of this outfit? Are you hot? These guys, I'm not hot because it's so cheap. <laughs> but these guys had it knocked, man. Like, not well. First of all, it's difficult to hide an erection in this thing. <laughs> but! Well, black is slimming. But it's easy to hide your gut. Oh. I had, I had two goals doing this show. Lose some weight. For God's sake, so I'm like a big, fat, so I don't look like someone's aunt. <laughs> Didn't make that goal. That goal turned into stop gaining weight. <laughs> About halfway through last spring break, when 80s girls home all week cook, you know, you, you live with someone and their cooking schedule hits your cooking schedule and now you're eating four or five meals a day. So I blew that goal. Didn't find out until after I shaved for the show. I was like, wow, man. How many chins are you bringing to this thing? <laughs> Speaking of which, we're staying right across the street. John and I, he's staying uh, right in the heart of Chinatown, so. <laughs> Speaking of how many chins you're bringing to this event. Oh. So my impression of Philadelphia is that it's predominantly Asian. You like to see what you're eating live before you do it. And everything sounds like a karaoke bar. You haven't been here for that long, but that's what, that's what our neighborhood is. Oh, okay. It's perfect. It's perfect for... It's perfect for ass farming. That's right. Sean's gonna set up a kiosk out there. Sean's gonna set, he's gonna go into a Manny Petty Center and set up an ass farming boutique. You go in, he starts creeping up your legs. You're like, oh man, I just wanted a pedicure. I don't, where are you, where are you going? Like, oh, should have read the sign, dude, it's too late. We would be in Chinatown, too. Sorry we're late, a we had to help Asterios do his taxes back there. Yeah, build a, yeah, build a wall, you think. Yeah. <laughs> we won. We won already. There's no... It's fine. <laughs> Asterios is back there taking his shit, by the way, too, if you want to help him, help him through it. Go! 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 Uh, the same toilet I dropped my notes in right before the show, so... That's about... These are about as worth as, uh, as useful as normal, I guess. My other goal, I had two goals. One was to not look like a big fat fuck on video. Failed that one. But this thing, man, it really, it really does hide it. And I feel 
like an asshole wearing this. And I want it. It's this outfit is like the, the ring in the Lord of the Rings. Like I'm addicted to it now. I don't want to take it off. And I, I'm, it's a joke, right? But I don't ever want to take it off. And I always want to walk around like this. You're looking at it. It's six feet tall. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> oh, it's a double-edged sword, that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> What's your dad like? Is that what he said? I'll tell you about my dad. I'll tell you about my dad when I start talking about taxes, because he... He taught me, my dad taught me three things in life. First one is then there, I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> my second goal, my second goal was to not get shit faced the day before the event and wake up at, one, at, at, at three in the morning my time, seven here and feel like death and crawl to the theater and sleep in the shower backstage, which they do have, that's real. I fucked that goal up as well. Mm -hmm. there, was a, there was a dickhead meetup. Uh, I don't know who put it together, but Phil. Yeah, 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 Christian right there. Phil, Phil with the tattoo was there. Justin, Justin you know, a bunch of guys were there. You get it. You just fill, fill in the names in, in your head. A guy was there um, from Sweden. Was it from, is it from Switzerland? He's from, guys there from Switzerland. Yeah, guy's there from Switzerland, loses, gets his luggage lost. All of his like inhaler and shit is in there too. All of his, all of his medicine, I don't know. All of his, a bunch of medicine in there. He goes to the doctor here thinking it's gonna be nice like Swiss Medicare. <laughs> he shows up, hey, I'm a, I'm a human being in pain. And they say, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> so he writes, he says, I know what I need. Like I'm not, this isn't a, a trick to get an inhaler. <laughs> just in the cell, you know, 100, 150 bucks, whatever. He goes to the pharmacy, they pay 40 bucks for this stuff in Switzerland. They're like, oh yeah, that'll be $400 for you. So he says, so I came to the show, I flew all the way here to your sh for your show, and I'm about, uh, you know, 1,500 bucks in the hole, 2,000 bucks in the hole now with the, with the Medicare. And I said, that's what I said. <laughs> Welcome to America, man. So what's his Patreon? Always on the bottom line, Sean. <laughs> I brought a survey. My mom was real worried about us doing the show in Philly. because She's like, well, you know, don't, don't, uh, there's a lot of crazy people there. I'm like, yeah, they're going to be at the fucking show. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> you live in L.A. You live in L.A. <laughs> I like it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> LA is different though. It's like stabbing at your mind. In Philly, you will get stabbed in your, in your body. <laughs> at least that's what I think. That's what I love about it. Wait, I wanted to ask you guys this survey to see uh, like, who makes up the dickheads that are in the audience. Are there any, um, first of all, did, who, did everyone pay taxes today? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kill that guy. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Are there any? Uh, are there any? Are there any felons in the audience tonight? All right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Who's asking? Do I look like a police officer, sir? <laughs> Moldable. Are there any? Uh, we got any furries in the audience? <laughs> All right. You don't have to raise your hands. Just give a. Or you don't have to raise your paws. I'm sorry. Just give us a harumph, you know? You got a harumph out of that guy. You watch your ass. <laughs> any trans... Any, any trans people? Trans people in the audience? Yeah, I got a woo out of that guy. Sir, uh, while you're up, buy a shirt. Okay? 
<laughs> I heard Philly's very uh, progressive when it comes to like, you know, trans and shit like that. They yeah. got, is it, are you, you guys are mostly from here. What is, there's like a big column, a statue of a bunch of men having sex with each other around the corner. That's the dick show. It's a statue of, let's recreate it. We're all gonna strip down. I seriously, I cannot t tell you how powerful this outfit makes me feel. Like, I feel like that's why everything was so fucked for so long is because guys were dressing like they're God. It's like, if you, once you get in the government, all the decisions you have to make from then on, you have to do naked. Because otherwise, you, I know you're gonna fuck, I know you're gonna fuck somebody if you're wearing this, like, oh yeah, I know what that guy's thinking. I feel like an asshole. I'm always sweating, man. Don't you watch the feed? I can't stop. I put this on, people are like, are you gonna be hot? And then I'm like, I'm always fucking hot, man. I'm always hot. Any, uh, we got, uh, we got any virgins in the house tonight? Really? So everybody get those guys late as quickly as possible. <laughs> Who thinks they're the most Philly here anyway? The most Philly? Is that not a thing that you brag about? Man, people were asking, no, people were asking why we did the show here. For some reason, for some reason, I have always loved this town. The, the day that Men Are Better Than Women, the book came out, uh, or like, I don't know why, like I just, we were at the bar last night at the dickhead meetup, and this woman walks over to me, and she goes, um, you know, you, uh, you wearing your face on your shirt? I was wearing the stop complaining thing. And I said, yeah, it's awesome. And she goes, no, it's not. It's not. And I said, hey, 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 hey. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's real. What did you think you were going to get out of this interaction, lady? It's fucking awesome. You want to take this outside or something? When Men Are Better Than Women came out, it was uh, the book sales. Like, after a month, it was, it was New York. You know, like the population thing. You sell all this. It's a ratio. New York. And then... I was thinking, oh, then probably Los Angeles, you know, Dallas, something like that. New York, Philly, right next to it. <laughs> like... <laughs> Plus, Pennsylvania saved me from eating my book. It's the only reason you need to do a show here. More or less. More or less. Build a wall. Build a wall. I'll let you go, man. You need to get that message out. So we did a little drive-by tour. You haven't seen shit, have you? Of uh, Philly. Fill me in a little, yeah, I a little sent, bag. I sent Sean in on the worst fucking flight. Known to man, the cheapest Spirit Airlines. It's the only, it's the only flight I've ever been on that like 15 minutes in, I was praying it would go down. <laughs> Uh, I swear there was like, there was, there was paint scraping off by the tail and you could see like the hammer and the sickle from the previous paint job. Well, you know, you gotta be more specific. The, bar, the, bar, the barf bags, the barf yeah. bags were mesh. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, you know those, uh, the pouches in the back of the seats? Yeah. The puppets, you, get, you make phone. puppets out of it. Yeah, whatever. No, these were, uh, these were bungee cords, like, crossed in an X. I like, shit you not. So it's Wait, like you had to... I'm not kidding. You, you had to hope that the, uh, the tension would hold, like, your water, you know, in there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird for us. I don't know if I can speak for you. This is, this is weird. It's, it's, but I actually knew that this is... When we started The Biggest Problem in the Universe, I knew that we would end up right here. You probably did. <laughs> in this fucking outfit. I knew it would, it would be in a catastrophe. Sure. And by virtue of a Patreon, we would end up traveling the country looking like, a, looking like an asshole. <laughs> Entertaining these people. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Yeah. What do they say in that in that ha Hamilton? What is it? Yeah. White people are overrated. I imagine that's what they say in Hamilton. Isn't that what it's about? I don't know. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. So I'm driving around. Taxation is theft, right? We're driving around uh, Philadelphia. We happen to do a drive-by of the Liberty Bell. Right? Giant, you know, you know the Liberty Bell. You've right? heard of it, yeah. You know, you've heard of it. And I think this is the best, this is the best possible representation and icon of everything about what America is and every reason why, every reason why taxation is theft, right? They make this, you know how much the bell cost in today's dollars? No. I got his stats for you. I've been looking up stats on, I've been looking up stats on Philadelphia all day and I got Liberty Bell like, oh, right. So, so they wanted to do, they wanted a bell so big that everybody had to hear it. Like basically the, 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 uh, the revolutionary version of the, the stupid text messages that you get that you can't block. <laughs> It's like, like every, every single, Twitter is faster than the thing, by the way. They wanted a bell that everything could hear, and they didn't bother asking anyone smart, I imagine, because they would have just said, like, we'll just make a bunch of bells everywhere. And then everybody would be like, no, we got to have one, one bell. They spent 22 grand on it. 22 grand on the Liberty Bell. Yeah, no, 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 that's in today's dollars. That's it? That's it, man. That's a lot of, for one bell? Well, it's a big bell. 22 grand. It wasn't American made. It was made in England. <laughs> Crack, cracks on the first one, right? Yeah. So they say, whoops, we already, we already spent all the money. What are we going to do now? So this, this, this guy, this guy comes over, Stowe comes over and says, hey, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I go, yeah, what are your qualifications? Absolutely none. <laughs> yeah, why don't you take a look at it? So he melts it down, makes it again, and they put it up and it sounds like it sounds like they're just beating on a, on a wooden block. Like it sounds like shit. Cracks again. Because he mixes a bunch of pewter and shit in with it, right? Oh. Cracks again. And that state floating there is exactly that, it, that we sell it. Oh, by the way, it was uh, the only reason we know about it is because it was the original Black Lives Matter hashtag. Because it became. It became famous during the abolitionist movement as like a, as a this is liberty, let's give a look, it was the original hashtag. Anyway. <laughs> fucking bell. <laughs> that fucking bell has wasted money and hashtags built in and we're celebrating every fucking day. <laughs> Taxation is theft, right? Here's, here's, my, here's, my, here's my thing with, with taxes. So we've, all, all, we've all been panicking to, to do them all day, right? It's like... I think that taxes are like the opposite of losing your virginity. Where you remember the first time, you remember the first paycheck you get as a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, no matter how big she was, how big, well, what were the cans like, Sarah? Yeah. You get that check and you start, and you see the money, you're like, oh yeah, I can't wait to blow all this money. And then you just see the big cut out of it and you're like, ah, why do I feel so violated? I'm a stealing, I'm stealing Peach's joke, but you, you got to show on the doll where the taxes touched you. When you're a kid and you remember it for the rest of your life. Nobody warns you how traumatizing it is to just see that huge cut taken right out of your life. I remember the first time for me, my first time. Man, I'll tell you, this story does involve cans. And those, those cans were my downfall. I got a job at a, at, a, at a toy store because I really wanted to buy an Indiana Jones bullwhip. Like the real, you know, the real, the real thing. I said, this is going to be nice and simple, man. I'm going to get in there. What's up? <laughs> Anyway, I can't. I need that whip right now. Crack this guy. Crack Lost this. control. Lost control. I get this whip. I want uh, like all. It's a simple plan, right? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna work for a little bit. I'm gonna get a whip. Then I'm done. I'm gonna retire with my bull whip, and that'll be that'll be it. Yeah. 
Simplest plan in the world, Off man. Off into the sunset at 16 with a bullwhip. Yeah, at 16, and, a, and then I'll yeah, be happy. Done, I can yeah. go on adventures with this stupid bullwhip that mm-hmm. I bought. The only reason I w- went to work for this fucking toy store. But halfway through, I got a girlfriend. Huge, huge cans, guys. Huge cans. It's true. I'm talking. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Huge, huge cans. Huge cans. cans. Unreal. Unreal, right? Yeah, pretty good. (laughs) Yeah, I remember. Pretty good. So good I can't even look her up on Facebook because I'm afraid of of seeing, I'm like, I I can't, I can't. I'm just taking, I just need the memory. I want to see her with a kid and like, that kid's been sucking on those cans, man. I don't know. I never did get that whip. That was it. Never did get the whip, man. Yeah. I'm going to call her up now. Like, hey, guess what? So, um, taxes in this country, you know, what they, you know what the first tax was in America? I don't mean to turn this into, like, NPR, but I just did all this. I just happened to do all this hungover research. It was on whiskey. Mm. So guys like us go along with the, yeah, 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 stamp tax. No, 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 fuck that. No, 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 we want, we're no taxation without representation, right? Let's do a new government. All right, we're going to we'll go to war for that. Well, let's, just get, let's just get real drunk, start, start fighting guys that look like me, start shooting guys that look exactly like me. And they're like, all right, we got a new government. Thanks a lot. Hey, uh, we're going to tax all your whiskey. And all the liquor heads got up and said, oh, well, no, 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 everybody, we got to do this again, we got to do this again. And everyone said, no, fuck you guys. You're, you're way too fucking drunk. So I think, since they go after the pressure points, right? Whiskey, tobacco, stuff like this, mm-hmm. windows, there was a win- I, Why don't we start going after better pressure points? Like people posting religious shit on Facebook. That's got to, we have it, we have the technology. We have the technology to do this now. See, before it's just like, well, I don't know, we can follow the liquor. Just set up a camp next to the liquor and start taking their money. But we have the technology now to just, to, 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 to find you on every little, every little fucking thing like that. Religious posts on Facebook. Posting pictures of your kids too fucking much on Facebook. Talking too loud, you know. We can do this. And then we could take our fucking... It used to be, until the 40s, taxes were like 3%. And then they jumped up to, I don't know, I've got to get it written down, but I think I dropped that part in the toilet. (laughs) Jumped up to 20%. I think they could make it work back on five. You know? If everyone's... They, they don't need that much money. That's what I'm saying, Sean. If everybody's, right, everybody's got to pay their fair share. That's always what you hear with taxes. Where the fuck is my fair share? I'm paying, I'm paying for the whole military. We're paying for the whole military. Why don't they have like a taxpayer day? We could show up and shoot some guns. Drive some tanks around. Fly a drone, man. Where the fuck is my fair share in that? They're just sitting there. At least let me touch it. Let me touch it. Let me ride the gun around and put it between my legs like Dr. Strangelove. Just let me look at it. How much do you spend on Medicare, medicine? Where are my drugs? Just give me a little bit. Just a little taste of it, right? I'm fine, I'm fine otherwise. My, I, we're paying, how much education? How many hot teachers are you funding that some kid who's never worked a day in his life just gets to stare at her ass all fucking day. Where's your fair share of that? Where's the webcam in my, girl's, my girlfriend's classroom that I can beat off all day while she's teaching these? It's being wasted. The ass is being wasted, Sean. The ass is being wasted. <laughs> you gotta deregulate that ass, Sean. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Fucking Philadelphia. Thank you guys for coming, by the way. What else do I got here? Anybody fuck any whales today? I hope you... Is that a how-to guide? What's that? Is that a how-to guide? The whales? Fuck whales? 
I don't know. All right. I think... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For people who don't know the show, this has got to be the biggest mind fuck. Oh, uh, it's going to get a lot worse than this, Sean. We were... We were doing tech before the show, and the booth guys, who were fucking great, by the way. Big hand for them. And thanks a lot. You know, this place used to be a brothel. You guys know that? If you listen closely, you can hear like the ghosts of guys getting beat off. You can see, and there's a, there's a big sliding cattle door where they used to bring them in too. It's pretty cool backstage. <laughs> I think that guy really wants to fuck you, man. I guess. Hey, are you, has any, did anybody come as a Shauna like? Are there any of you guys? Let me see. You, you? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's good. You guys look good. We're going to bring you up in, a, in, a, in a, a little bit. We're going to bring you up later. No, it's going to get a lot weirder. The tech guy said, hey, um, when we were going through the this, this show, he's like, hey, uh, so you want to bring the screen down when uh, Santa Chuck comes out? And Asterios and I kind of sat there and we're just like, yeah. Like, I don't really, I wanted to correct them, but I don't really know how without kind of going, because it sounds like you're making fun of somebody when you explain what Santa Cuck is. Should have, exactly. We were playing one of his songs before the show. I'm like, you know, you guys, uh, you might think this sounds like absolute garbage. But what you're listening to is a Billboard charting album. I want to, I got to bring, we're going to bring him out in a minute, but I'll tell you what makes me rage this week. Having to hide your farts, man. I swear to God, we're staying, it's, it's tight quarters over there. And this, and this Airbnb brings, it shows you Abs how absolutely terrible people are. Like, what, what was that Stanford experiment where they treated everybody like prisoners? Remember that? What was it? There's a Stanford experiment, right? Where they... I'm sorry, ma'am, you're gonna have to wear much louder clothing to mansplain as hard as you're trying to. Are you here with Are you here with a guy? Are you here with a gentleman? No, no it's a girl. Sarah, I'm very very sorry for. You. <laughs> uh, it's so that experiment showed that like um, if people as soon as people get a little bit of authority, they just treat treat you like absolute shit, right? Just punish people for no reason. Airbnb is the same fucking way. Airbnb is a global is a nationwide fucking Stanford experiment that goes on all day every day. Where you show... What do you got there? Oh God, you know how when you're hungover sometimes it's just like pouring it right onto a furnace, right? Mm. You thought you slept your way through it, but you did not, man. That fire is in there burning and you are pouring liquid gasoline on top of it. Good times. Every Tuesday, that's what it is for me. <laughs> um. So we got this place, this Airbnb right across the street, right? We get a text, 80s girl gets a text at like 7 p.m. saying, Hey, I've gotten a bunch of noise complaints. Uh, make sure you, you read the house rules again. Not even doing it, not doing nothing. Like, we're adults. We're just sitting around, walking around. 
So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, text her back. Does the house rules, does it say anything about not bringing back an entire fucking theater full of people into the room after the show tomorrow? How's that for a fucking noise complaint with this busted-ass Ikea, Ikea furniture and two goddamn dish towels that's enough to dry the f- your, pel- your fucking pubic fro? <laughs> Treat you like absolute fucking garbage, these Airbnb people. But my rage is, is we're all packed in there hiding your farts. Because you don't want to be, you know, the best thing, the best thing in life, I think, is, uh, farting. is farting after, during a hangover. <laughs> When you can just be nice and hungover and let that fucking thing rip, and it feels like you gave birth to a baby. Before you shower. Before you shower. That's, the da- that's why it's so dangerous. So it's like an echo chamber in there. 80s girl and peach saliva, who is also here. are getting ready and I'm trying to like sneak into the least acoustic part of the house to let these fucking gems rip. Like one, it was not a big deal, but when you're making it like over and over and over, when you're busting ass over there, it's just kind of, you're just, it's just becoming your form of conversation. I don't want to do that. So my, uh, la- one, more, one more thing before we bring out, before we, before we bring out Santa Chuck, one more thing. <laughs> my dad <laughs> taught me three things. What? I can hear him back there. <laughs> What's he doing? Just laughing. She's laughing. Laughing. Uh, yeah, Stereos is Stereos is back there making one of the yeah shirts unreturnable. <laughs> I remember being a I remember being a kid and learning about you know how the government fucks you all the time. And I'd ask my dad stuff like, well, what if you did this? Trying to trick, trick my way out of it, right? What if you did this? What if you did that? And he goes, son, listen to me. This is all you need to know. If it's good for you and bad for them, it's illegal. <laughs> and if it's good for them and bad for you, it's the law. Yeah. That's it. Lesson number one. Lesson number one for the man. Lesson number two was always use other people's money. Yeah, that could be lesson number one. Yeah. And lesson number three... uh, (laughs) He lost all credibility when I shit in his underpants. (laughs) That was me taking control of the house. (laughs) This is fucking my house now, old man. I shit in who's ever underpants I want. Nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna tell people about it. Random people are gonna scream about it in other cities that you can't, you can't even imagine that coming through your head. This is worse, but you think the guys who built the pyramids had it rough when their sons would build bigger pyramids than them, man? I'm gonna shit in your underpants and everyone's gonna know about it. People are going to be planning how they can shit in their dad's underpants. What do you think of that? He gets nightmares to this day. Because he doesn't know which underpants it was still. Every single fucking one he feels, he's like, oh man, is this... Is this the one? Is this the pair? So much I like that he's had the same underpants for like 15 years. Yeah. Huh. I'm huh. not trying to poke holes, but you know. <laughs> Very good singer. Good singer show. Sure. The third lesson was uh, women are always late. <laughs> no, that's not a joke. This is, he was real. He was real pissed off when we were supposed to get picked up from soccer practice one time, and the mom who was supposed to pick us up was late. And he's like, ah, "You gotta remember this. They're always late." I'm like, all right, man. It's just soccer. Calm down. She said children's soccer game. All right. Um, let's bring out... We've got a very, a very good friend. He's come a long way. All the way from... Where would you say is... He's not from the... This, the he's from the Cuck Pole, I guess. Where is the Cuck Pole? It's not the North Pole. 
Yeah, he lives in Maddox's closet. That's where Santa Cuck. That's where he has his little toy factory. Everybody, please welcome Santa Cuck. I need my cuck sack! Where's my cuck sack? I think, Santa Cuck, I think your pants are falling down, man. I'm farming a whole lot of ass back here. That's how Santa Cuck always looks! You've just never seen him live! Help me, dick. Oh my god. Help slower. Slower. I'm too big in the front. It's not, I'm too big in the front. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. Santa Cuck brought gifts for all the good little boys and girls of the Madcast Media Network. <laughs> what? Who would have thought you might not like that? What's Santa Cook's first gift? Get up here, little boy. Why, it's a bottle of hot sauce. You can use that instead of a personality. Yeah. I put hot sauce on stuff. I put hot, I make my food inedibly hot. I like to damage the sensitive soft palate. Huh? Do you think I'm manly yet? Stupid bald pussy. All right, what else do we have? Who wants some red delicious apples? Red de Yeah, that's right. Maddox even has a hot take on apples. That's how thirsty this guy. Oh, were there not enough? Uh, did, he, did he not have enough time to defend pedophiles today? He's got to fucking compliment and pick the best apple. Whatever, I'm so mad at that guy. All right, we've got win a date with Dustin. Yeah, yeah, go get it! Or for $50, you cannot go on the date. That one's for you, Reddit. I got your back, Reddit. <laughs> all right, let me hear all the Redditors in the house say, yeah! All the Facebookers in the house say, yeah. yeah! Now fight each other! <laughs> Let's see what else Santa Cuck has before he incites violence much like our president does. <laughs> he literally said, get that guy. All right, fine. Santa Cuck's got some tasty cakes. Santa Cuck doesn't have a joke for these. He just fucking loves tasty cakes. Philly, 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 Philly. Throw, oh, throw them to everyone, guy that looks like an uglier me. <laughs> and then finally, we've got George's girlfriend's phone number. Come and get it, boys. Who wants their life ruined by a skeleton? This guy does. 
Yeah, I hope you end a friendship in a small business too. Go get them. Well, guys, that was all the money Santa Cook had for jokes. So let's do a goddamn sing along! Hit play! Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care anymore. It is in the rain. I don't want to back, that sucks. George's life is pain. Dick is making fucks. Ha ha ha. Look at vines. Looking at his ex. Got an ex and cries and screams while Dick is having sex. Oh, cuck, 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 cuck. Maddox is a cuck. Look at Rick and cuck, Maddox. No, Maddox is a cuck. They're allowing books, lying and is flying. Maddox sits and wonders why his whole career is dying. Honey <laughs> crap that he's become a bore. But it's not Dick's fault that he has no money anymore. Oh, cut, cut, cut. That's all the sun Santa Cock has. Have a good night, goddammit! Sit down, sit down, please. Sit down. Well, no, Santa Cock has to go, but the stereo's like that. <laughs> hey, can I come out yet? Yeah. Oh. Hey. I get real sweaty watching that guy work. Now what, what's odd about this, Sean? What do you mean this is a hard show to explain? <laughs> You've got the guy dressed like he murdered Braveheart. You've got Santa Claus I'll ripping his pants off. I'll see you on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a, what a rare appearance by s billboard charting artists. Santa cat. That's right. Three weeks, motherfuckers. Now, you know Philly better than I do, right? How does this feel? Is this the biggest crowd you've ever taken your pants off in front of? <laughs> Let me ask that. I'm sorry, did you ask how Philly feels? Well, then I asked about the pants thing. Oh, okay. Because it feels pretty good, yo. It feels great out here. <laughs> I'm from Philly, oh yeah, Schuylkill Expressway, oh boy, Tasty Cakes. See, I sound exactly like Philadelphia. Yeah, no, he's, it was shocking. We asked the guy for directions we got here, he sounded exactly like that. Like, wow, I'll, I can't believe that. He sounds exactly like fucking Asterios. They all do. Same mannerisms, same accent. What was that? I'm going to... I can't afford a train ride home. <laughs> I spent it all on those pants I just destroyed. <laughs> Thank you. If anybody has a, an extra bed for me tonight, I would appreciate it. <laughs> You're a very brave man for giving this crowd baseball-shaped objects. <laughs> we, don't even do, we can't even do that in L.A. and everyone's a pussy. <laughs> Because they immediately end up on the field every time. Oh, if this was an L.A. or a New York audience, I would not have thrown the apples because I would have gotten sued. I'm absolutely not kidding. I was like, Philly can handle this. If someone gets hurt, we'll settle it in the ring later. 
I feel like this whole city is like a like a trick. <laughs> like we went up, we went down to um, I don't know where it is. Like is it Market Street? Yeah. You only know if it's a, if it's the right street because people will start screaming about it. If it was you know not the right, it's just like mm. yeah, that's why I know that street. It was it was it was gentrified as hell. There was, it was like, there was an ice cream parlor, there was families sitting out front, and I got the suspicion that they were fake. Like, they were a bunch of actors paid to be out there as we're going through it. They were. Then we... Oh, Wait, were they, dressed, were they dressed like Benjamin Franklin and his coterie? Yeah. Okay, well, then they might have been actors. Then we went into a bar, we're sitting there ready to order a drink, and a guy comes to shake us down for a burlesque show. He's like, hey, if you're going to sit here, we got to charge you eight bucks for this burlesque show to go on. I'm like, what the hell are you, what the fuck are you talking about? A burlesque? No, 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 no. What was the theme of the burlesque show? Please tell me Philadelphia heroes like Frank Rizzo and Allen Iverson. I would have seen that. I would have watched that in a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the only town to bomb itself. God bless you, everyone. Is that Philly? Yes, absolutely. The only town to bomb itself? Yes. What do you mean? Uh, the mayor of Philadelphia called an airstrike because a Black Panther rally got out of control, and they burnt six city blocks to the ground in Philadelphia in the 70s. That sounds about right. That's your tax dollars at work. <laughs> Burn it down. <laughs> well, uh, at least it's entertaining. Yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah. Wait, I never said they were good people. <laughs> I'm not pro uh, burning down Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, well, dare I ask what makes you a rage? Oh, I'll tell you what, make, I'll tell you what makes me a rage. Uh, not listening to stereotypes. Not believing in the power of stereotypes. I had a simple mission. I had to get a deposit check to my new landlord because I'm trying to move out of an apartment that makes Where you sound I have like a to pedophile. whisper like this yeah. all the goddamn time. When I call into the dick show, I'm like, hi, dick. I'm currently being held hostage. Let's tell a bunch of goofs and jokes. Yeah. And so I'm in Texas at the time. I'm in Houston, Texas. I went there for work. And I walk into a post office. And I get the sense that everyone is scared of me. And I get the sense that everyone's like, you're not from around here. You don't belong here. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> now that's the sense I get. But what I say is, no, no, no. That's you being a fucking Northeastern liberal cuck. Yeah. That's not, Texas is where the heartland is. Yeah, talk yourself out of your gut feeling. It's where, fa it's where family means family and friends mean friends. It's where your word is your bond. And your bond is a couple of ice cold Bud Lights with your buddies and all this stuff. And I'm thinking like, no, no, no. They like me. This is all in my head. So I paid $28 to have this check overnighted to my future landlord. Mm -hmm. I write from my address in Brooklyn to this address in the Bronx. I give them $27 to get it there the very next day. Is that a Trump meme I don't know about? Yeah. $27? They're all, they're all Trump memes now. You just shout anything, it's a Trump meme. Okay, 10 feet higher. I'm a peed. It's a Bernie meme? It's a Bernie meme. $27 is a Bernie meme? Why? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I get it. You're trying to sneak your liberal agenda in here too, Asterios. Dropping Bernie memes, $27. Guilty. Asterios was back there so excited to pay his taxes. He's like, I can't, he looked like he was at Disneyland. It looks like he was looking at porn. He was over there joking, oh, I can't wait to see how many people I help with all these fucking taxes I pay. Uh, he's not wrong. As soon as I'm done with bits out here, I have to go backstage and finish TurboTax <laughs> because I have not <laughs> done my taxes. I'm definitely writing off these pants. These pants are right off. Anyway, long story short. Not possible. Long story short. Every time somebody says that, they, that ship sailed long <laughs> ago. Wipe it out of your mind. Never, that's what we should fucking tax. 
Long story religious, short. Long religious story short. posts. Long story short, <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Any of that? If, also, remember when MTV used to play music? Let's tax that. Yeah. Let's tax that. What else should we tax? Kids on my lawn, tax that. Exactly. So what happened? Did you get your... So long story short, I'll, take, I'll pay the tax. Um, they sent my rent check to my apartment. I went home to my apartment and I opened up the mail and it was the check. They looked at the from, they looked at the two, they said, let's flop these just to fuck this squinty-eyed <laughs> asshole. And they delivered, they, o- they overnighted me a money order I wrote myself in Texas. That's the last time I trust Texans. Yeah. Tell you that right now. Why did he fuck up? Wait, like, how did I fuck should up? Should he have written the two on both, to and from? Honestly, I fucked up because I used the United States Postal Service. Yeah. I should have used a private business like FedEx or UPS. Go. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for, thanks for, thank you for taking my money yep. and building a nationwide organization that just delivers me coupons I'm no human has ever used. Yeah. Giant fucking stacks of newsprint every day yeah, to my door yeah. that I am never going to fucking use. That I will save up like that every mm-hmm. single one brings me an inch closer to being a hoarder. I'm just, because on one day I'm just gonna look down and go, shit, I haven't thrown any of these away. And I got six weeks of them stacked up. Now I'm st- now I'm starting to look like a lunatic. Yes. Now you're starting to look like a lunatic. Yes, too many coupons is the problem. <laughs> Alrighty, Serios. Yep. Tell me about your uh, your first time. Oh. Your first time being taxed. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Everybody, Sean, do you remember your first time? Of course. What was it? What was your first time being taxed? I don't remember. Do you not remember? <laughs> Seriously, think back. Because he's been traumatized. This is like, a, I'm like a counselor in court. Like, look, 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 you need a, you need a hypnotist to get, these deep memory out, to get this deep memory out of you. Uh, the first time I... Because when you're young, you don't have to take care of it. Because your parents do or you're dependent or whatever. Until the first year, you have to pay taxes, at which point it becomes an emergency. Yeah. It becomes like the hardest thing you have to do. But my whole life, I'm hearing about tax refunds. Like, oh, I got a tax refund. I'm going to go get a new above-ground pool. I got yeah. a tax refund. We're going to Disney. A tax refund, tax yeah. refund. So I just assume that it's like, oh, when you pay taxes, you get money. Yeah. Like, why do people hate their taxes so much? You get a little check every time. Yeah. And the first time I had to pay taxes, I got, I got no tax refund. And so I went to the lady at h and Block, and I was like, <laughs> where's the money that the Simpsons told me I would get? Must be a mistake. Where's the money that pop culture told me I would get? And, my bo- and the, the lady at h and Block was like, well, actually, you have perfect withholding. Your company withheld the exact <laughs> amount of money needed. Coincidentally, to cover. not one single dime you're <laughs> on back. Mad TV had perfect withholding. Very imperfect comedy, perfect withholding. And I got so mad. She was so pleased with how perfect the withholding was. I can still see her face. It was like she'd seen like the face of Mary in a fucking grilled cheese sandwich. She was like, ah, the rare, elusive, perfect withholding. Oh, speaking of the, speaking of the face of Mary in a grilled cheese sandwich, long story short, my first job ever was working for uh, the, the World Grilled Cheese Eating Championships in Venice Beach, California. Yeah, sure. okay. Andy Dick was the celebrity guest. He was wearing leather pants. He pretended to shove a grilled cheese sandwich with the face of the Virgin Mary on it up his ass. I can still see the grease print on Andy Dick's leather pants ass every time I go to sleep at night. I've seen Andy Dick's ass too. Tell me the story. I was a huge Craig Kilborn fan. Like, I watched Craig Kilborn on The Daily Show. Do you remember when Craig Kilborn was on The Daily Show? Before it got all cucked all over the place with Jon Stewart? Yes, before it got relevant and funny. No, 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 no. Back when it was cool, back when it was, uh, 
back, back when it was uh, yeah. run by a frat boy. That's what I, I want to see, a frat boy on TV giving me the news. Who doesn't want to see the jocks win? Of course. Yeah. A super handsome guy making so he fun left, of retards? He left the Daily Show and he got, uh, for like a hot minute, he was on the... Was After it? Letterman. Yeah, he was on After Letterman. He and replaced Tom Snyder, yeah. I was a huge fan. Uh, I, I got tickets for like his second show. And I went there with the girl with the big cans that fucked up my bullwhip plan. <laughs> I'm taught, man, those, those fucking cans. Anyway. Andy Dick was the guest there. For no reason, he comes out and runs into the audience. And the guy right next to me, he, Andy Dick pulls his pants down and shoves his ass in his face like it's a comedy bit. And I can see, it was like a, it was like a greenish. His, his flesh was this color though, cause uh -huh. he's like, it looked like he was like, like he had human paint on his body. Yep. And then he was like a gross alien man underneath. They're very tight pants. He, he, his butt was probably not getting circulation. <laughs> you were probably looking at bruised, dying, angie dick flesh. Yeah, he was disgusting. He had gangrene from his he pants. He was disgusting. Exactly. I, I mean, honestly, I think it's the easiest joke in the world to pull your pants down in front of an audience. Like, I can't think of anything. I, I honestly can't think of lower humor than that. And I won't abide by it. I'm leaving. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, do you have do you have other pants? I don't think he or does. Or did you come to the show in your Santa Claus outfit? If anybody could also lend me some pants, that yeah. would be great. That's what I thought. What size do you think? Uh, that's a billboard charting artist that we just saw his underpants up. All right, next. Uh, Stereos is going to be out. Oh, God, I got to show you guys this. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> Stereos is going to come out later to help us judge the Road Rage team. <laughs> I think this, the safest place to put this is probably right here. Uh, but and so, did everybody put a, a rage in the bucket yeah! out there? Good, a bucket of rage. Uh, I'm gonna draw some rages out of there. You're gonna come up, and you're gonna. Sh it's like some kind of a rage lottery. It's like a successful implementation of that. It's not gonna be all over complicated, where people try to fight each other, and it's timed, like all these weird, arbitrary rules that someone fucked up when they came up with, it's gonna just be no holds barred. You gotta come out with your eyes crossed like Zeus from the, the scariest fucking man in the planet. In the night, was that the 90s? Was that the 80s? God, I don't, that was like at the time where I thought that guy was, he only existed to be a bad guy. Like, well, he wasn't in movies, he was in prison or something. That's, I just thought they held him somewhere and unleashed him to just uh, wreak havoc on people. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right, anyway. Until we get there, Sean and I always wanted to do a, a show like this. And it's, did you know this, this theater is the longest running theater in America? It's the only theater that's had shows consistently, like from when it started to, you know, now. Um, I guess they were running a brothel out of it at the same time, I don't know. But we always wanted to do a show like this, except Sean hated carrying his drums. You remember that every show, you'd have to load those fucking drums in, load them out every show we ever did? It looked like a nightmare. Well, I'm not a drummer. <laughs> but you were when we played. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we finally got there without having to, oh, you, you, I don't even, did you even bring any luggage in your Spirit Airlines line? Oh, they don't allow that. <laughs> you know what? I knew it was fucked when I bought you that Spirit Airlines flight, and I did it anyway. Yeah. I'm just like, ah, fuck him. <laughs> the inside of it, it looks like Con Air. It's no bullshit. 
Like the seats or frames. Frames? I, yeah, I shit you not. What do you mean? You know, they're, they're literally like, uh, you ever seen like, I don't know, kind of like race car seats? Yeah, like a five-point harness kind of thing? Well, yeah, it's more just like, a, they're like frames with a little bit of padding. There's no back to them, there's no plastic, there's no tray. Actually, the tray is about four inches wide. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> well, and the thing is with, with Spirit, Spirit, you have to, you can upgrade for things. Like if you want to carry yeah. on more than a laptop, Oxygen. you have to pay for it. Well, no, we, we had to all chip in for a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, 80s girl is here too, if you can find her. Find her and tell her she has nice shoes. Uh, don't do anything more than that or Maddox will tell everyone you're a rapist. And speaking of beautiful women, please welcome my next guest, Peach Saliva. I'm gonna do this again. Wow, look at those shoes. Those are some of the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. They should be, they were $300. <laughs> oh yeah, Thank you. I bet they were. <laughs> Thank you, I do. What's up, what's that? I forgot to put it in the bucket, I'm fucked up. Sorry. Wait, what do you want me to put it in the bucket? <laughs> Is the bucket back here? I'll get it. He's throwing shit I'll on get... stage like he's we're strippers. Yeah, the bucket's My off God. to the side. No, you're in. I don't need to draw this. You're definitely in for that <laughs> for that fucking move. Let me see what this. Unless this is a joke. Unless this is about my fucking small face or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. What's your name? Juan? Yeah. All right, you're in. See? Everyone should just disobey the rules all the time. And it always works out. How do you like Philly, Peach? Uh, I like Philly, but um, I stepped off the, of the plane and it kind of smells funny here. I, um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude to your fair city, but it's, it's pretty stinky, wouldn't you say, Sean? No. <laughs> It does not smell, it doesn't smell like piss here. I, I lived in piss. LA I is the city of piss. I didn't say it smelled like piss. I said it smelled in general. Smelled in general. In general. Okay, I've been, uh, I've been tracking Peach's weird uh, OCD shit all week. Oh. <laughs> let, me get, let me read from my notes that I dropped in the toilet to see what I've been gathering. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, here they are. I said I was going to lay down in the shower. He did. Right. Like the place where you go to be clean. Like a confessional of the priest for your soul except for your body. Like you go in there and you said what? I said that's disgusting and degenerate. <laughs> disgusting. And you should feel shame. Yeah. You don't lay down in the shower, my God. All the grime and shit in there. You've been pissing in there and washing your body and shit could come out of the drain. You don't know. Oh, you, you, you don't know. You, you know that shit doesn't come out of the drain, though. Oh. That's like a horror movie. That doesn't actually happen. Do you want me to blow you up? Because I, I know. I know about your drain. I know you that can say sand, whatever sand, you want. I know that sand came out of his fucking drain when you were trying to do a bath, apparently. Allegedly. 
Allegedly. Is this true? Is this true? <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, really, is that true? I hit a, I wait, killed a bags of sand hooker and hid her in the plumbing. No, wait, is that, is that true? Because I don't want to be incorrect. A menu, it's, it's true. It was, a, it was a new, it was a new plumbing. Thank you. Menu on a plate. What did you say? Uh, a woman, a server came over and uh, we were all out to eat and uh, she slapped her menu down on my plate and I very gently took the menu off and refused to use the plate because the menu is the filthiest thing that can be used at a restaurant and you all know it. Everyone touches the menu. Everyone touches it. I don't, I don't need that shit on my plate. I don't need that shit on my plate. <laughs> I, hey, 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 settle down. I don't have OCD. I'm, I'm particular. There's oh, a man. difference. I'm particular. For something that only hot chicks can be particular. <laughs> I, was, I was coughing, choking at a restaurant. We had lunch uh, the other day. Mm -hmm. And a bit of, you know, some, I was choking, you know, you know very... Maybe I was gonna die. I don't know. Yeah, he something came. Died. Something came out of my mouth, touched Peach's arm. It landed right here. While I'm gagging, her reaction is, "Ew, <laughs> you coughed on my arm." <laughs> Allow me to explain. Here's what really happened. He started, <coughs> and this weird piece of meat falls right here. Right? He was having what was it? A spicy buffalo. It's not a meat weird thing, piece right? of meat. It was what I was eating. Sure, it was yeah, right but, it, but, it, but, it, but it had spice. It'd be to weird it, if right? it was a different no. piece yeah, of meat. It's huh? something I ate three days ago. <laughs> no, hold on. Unidentified meat. <laughs> no, hold on. You're calling so, me down for buffalo wings, and all of a sudden, like a shrimp comes out. Ugh. We got an extinct species hiding in my stomach. Yeah. So I'm anyway, so disgusting. Anyway, this meat lands on my arm. I hear him breathe. Right? Do you hear that? I, again? I, you want to hear that twice? No, I hear. I hear you. I hear you have that he has the capability to breathe. So instead of asking, oh my God, are you okay? I immediately went, what the fuck was that? Because, because of what he had was so spicy and because I'm such a ginger, I immediately started to get a rash from where the meat, saucy meat spot, hit my spot. arm. And it itched and it hurt. I'm a victim here. Using a towel. <laughs> All right. Do you remember your first time, Peach? Being taxed? I do. Um, Although, I'm sure everyone wants to hear about the other one. <laughs> I do. Um, it's a long story, but I, 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 uh, when I was 16, I worked at a McDonald's. And I... Um, I it is It's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. How did you disgusting. survive at a McDonald's well, I was, with all the grease? Well, I was fired after a month. Uh, Happily, happily so. It's a long story. Um, but yeah, I... Why were you uh, fired? What do you mean? Why were you fired? How was I fired? Uh, long story short... Wait, Every why are you booing? Every fucking time! What? Why are they booing me? I didn't even do anything. Why is everyone mad? Because they're saying... Because you say long... When people say long story short... Now, Fine. That's what... We should do that in real life now. Whenever, whenever people say that, just start going boo, boo. Fine, it, fine, 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 fine. I had encephalitis and meningitis at the same time the month prior to when I worked at McDonald's. The doctor warned me and said, you will not be able to add or even spell for the next four or five months. I was like, ah, fuck Perfect. you, buddy. So I went and I worked at McDonald's and he was right. I could not add. My register came up short all the time. They assumed I was stealing and I was terminated. The end. Same thing happened to me. I was stealing, though. Oh, Christ. What do you think of Asterios' uh, underpants? Huh? His underpants? I didn't yeah. see him wearing underpants. Oh, you missed Did quite I miss a it? show. Oh. Yeah. All right, Peach. Now, you've got... Yes, Chad. You were on the, the episode that was released today. I was, indeed. Uh, you didn't get to your part three of your erotic story. I didn't get to right. part three. I, I feel so lucky to be here tonight to, uh, to read to you. Is this fireball? <laughs> Who got me this? Who got this fucking fireball? Who got this? 
Who fucking got this? Who put this there? What rat bastard would do that to me at my own fucking show? I'm in my fancy fucking clothes and you give me this swill? You give me this Ethan old shit? This is a date, this is banned in several countries and you give me this sorority chick shit? You give me this fucking disgusting drink? How, who did it? Who's the big man? Who did it? Who did it? Stand up. fuck now. Do you have a, sir, do you have a girlfriend who did this? Do you have a wife? Does she know that you're here at this show fucking me in the ass with this fireball whiskey? Does your wife know that you ran up here like a giggling little girl to fuck me in the ass in front of this beautiful woman and hundreds of people? Does she know? Are you gonna text her, hey, I just fucked a guy in the ass, a big burly fat man right in the fucking ass in front of hundreds of people? That better not be fucking fireball. I don't even know if this is for me, but I'm gonna drink it, thank you. I'm gonna find who you are, sir, and register you as a sex offender for that assault. If you can get on that list for pissing in public, what's up, what's up? Cheers, yeah, yeah. My parents are watching this at home, watching their son get fucked in the ass by you. Okay, Peach. That's enough disgusting sexual Where was that on Dad's list? Well, speaking of getting fucked in the ass, would you guys like to hear part three of You Can't de- You Can't Delete Love! Because I have it right here, and I will now read it to you as thus. Wait, I want to see these. I want to see these. Uh, I want to see these images. Hold on. You want? Okay, so so there are some visual images to go along with this story. Uh, I was fortunate enough that uh, our friend uh, at uh, Sitcherpolice. No. Nope. Is that how do you say? Yeah, Sitcher. Nope. Sitcherpolice. So Nope, who is a. You resident. guys know Nope? With the cute, all the cute drawings. All the cute. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get jokes. But yeah, Nope decided to do a couple of drawings for me uh, to uh, interpret. Uh, some of the um, sexual events of this sexy piece. To so. harness the eroticism Absolutely. of the story. Now, shall, I, right. shall I stay seated here then? Uh, no, stand, stand. Why don't yeah, you stand here? Sure. Stand here. Why, thank you. Can, you. can you lower this for me? I'm short. Yeah, you can touch it. Go ahead. Don't worry, there's a condom on it. Perfect, thank you. I like the way you work it, thank you. All right. Yeah. Take a load off, boys, relax, enjoy. Ahem. All right, fellas, without further ado, I give you You Can't Delete Love by Anonymous, Chapter 3, Dick is the Winner! Thank you. One moment, please. Oh, all right. Are we going to fuck a dragon in this? What the hell is... Keep your dick in your pants. I'm not done yet. It's hard to hide now. All right. <clears throat> you Can't Delete Love by Anonymous, Chapter 3, Dick is the Winner. Annoyed but curious to see if the caller had any goss, Dick, salmon short shorts still wrapped around his ankles, shuffled over to his computer to answer the Skype call. Dick saw that it was... Dot, 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 Madcox. 
dick pressed accept on the call as a stupid, rude, terrible, mean, no good, arrogant little leprechaun man appeared on Dick's screen clad only in several large cardboard crowns stacked high on top of one another and a soup-stained towel clasped loosely around his neck. Oh, hey, Dick and Sean. He mumbled because his mouth was a literal pussy. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see if I could watch you, you shitheads fuck. I mean, not that I need that or anything because I'm really busy promoting my really well-named book, but, uh, but mental... Yeah, it's the best book in the universe. Available for pre-order right the fuck now! <laughs> but, uh, listen, buddy, uh, is me mental, mental Jess is off with one of her very special friends, and so, uh, well, well, what do you say, fellas? Mad Cuck sat there waiting for Dick's response on his makeshift throne like a shitty, greedy dragon hoarding treasures untold. But instead of treasures untold like gold or jewels, he was hoarding votes from the rage board that rightfully belonged to Peach Saliva. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so nice. This author, whoever this author is, must like me very much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. This isn't fiction, bitch. This really happened. <laughs> oh, fuck it, Dick. Just let him watch. Sean yelled from across the room as he unhinged his lower jaw like a promiscuous serpent. Did you hear that? Yeah. Shoving an entire pan. I can't. I hate these fucking stories because now I'm thinking about, well, how wide could Sean open his mouth? And I want to know. Oh, I've seen him do it. He shoved a pan of pot bronies down that big fat gullet. Dick, Dick flipped Sean off in agreement and glanced back at Mad Cucks. But Mad Cucks didn't hear what Sean said due to the soundproof headphones he was wearing to jack off better listening to the sound of his own fucking voice. <laughs> Dick stumbled back over to Sean like a slimy newborn gazelle. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, why is it a gazelle? Why not a gazelle? Slimy. Slimy, what? slimy newborn gazelle. I'm fine with the slimy part. It's the gazelle that You've I don't like. You've been rebirthed. You've been rebirthed. What do you give the fuck? Okay ready to once again recommence their totally for real and not convoluted at all lovemaking. Sean tossed his... Sean tossed his sexy little ass down on the edge of their poorly constructed love nest. The way Why is it poorly constructed? You, you know there's deleted shit. Do I need to say more? <laughs> the way... Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. Made in Mexico. I guess that's why. Yeah. On the edge it's of their part, those little, those little digs are what pissed me off about this gay fanfic you, that you wrote because I know that you think that. I didn't write this. I don't know why everyone thinks I wrote this. I'm flattered, truly. I simply interpret the erotic fanfiction. Now, may I go on? Go on. I will go on. Now, where was I? Right next to the thing that I built wrong. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sean tossed his sexy little ass down on the edge of their poorly constructed love nest the way the audience here in Philadelphia are most assuredly on the edge of their seats. <laughs> Thank you. And that's when, and that's when Dick growled like a cross-eyed tiger. <laughs> Wait, who has cross eyes? You. Like a cross-eyed tiger. Now this, this Thank did you. scary, new, strange things to Sean's wiener, and he cooed like a Cornish game hen. Hoo, hoo. Good. Like that. Good. Yeah, you can Not hear Not about me. No? 
Now, here's the exciting part, guys. Uh, whoever wrote this, wrote this in the style wait, wait, of... Wait, wait, where, where's the... Is there pictures to go along with what you're talking about? With what I was talking about there? Uh, let me double check. When I did the pictures change? I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out. Okay. Okay. I'm just sick of looking at Mad Cucks. And why not? Does he not look beautiful as a greedy dragon? No. He looks great. Fuck off. All right. So... Everyone, this is a choose your own adventure, so I need you guys to help me which track to choose because it's completely different. Oral. Yeah, Oral, bingo. You got it. Darling, how'd you know I always choose Oral? Unfortunately, here, unfortunately here you have two choices. The choose your own adventure is, does Dick get on top of Sean or does Sean get on top of Dick? Dick. Don't fucking pick either of those! I think I'm hearing a lot of Sean! All right, I, I have heard your cries, and I will go the path of Sean on top of Dick. You guys are that. You guys are the ones picturing it. I this is all an elaborate con. This whole, all, this whole three years has been an elaborate con to trick 400 men into screaming about Sean being a top in a gay relationship with me. And isn't it beautiful? Anyway, before, <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted, the alternate path is Sean on top of Dick. Sean whipped around and pushed Dick over the way Asterios gets pushed over by women. <laughs> that part was pretty good. Yeah, kudos Finally, to Finally, a joke. <laughs> he straddled the Dick Show host's alarmingly underdeveloped legs. The way, the way I Oh, fall. wait a minute. I'm sorry, Peach. Yeah, darling. Uh, who could not walk after our Joshua Tree hike for like two days? Was First that me all, or you? It took her 10 minutes to get down to the studio after we did that hike. I can explain myself perfectly. First of all, my muscles aren't used to going downhill. However, you huffed and you puffed and took about eight fucking breaks while me and 80s girl were walling up that mountain and you just... I need a break. And I kept being like, oh, you need some cardio, so suck my dick. The end. But nice try. Anyway, as I was saying, he straddled the dick show host's alarmingly underdeveloped legs the way a fluffy baby duckling might straddle two greasy strings of angel hair pasta. Whatever, ducks are badass. They will baby, fucking baby bite you. Baby ducklings? They charge. Helpless. Baby ducklings are helpless and adorable. I don't know Go what ahead, you're saying. Please. Happily. Sean plucked a dirty, used syringe from Dick's tangly mess of Tarzan hair and filled it with concentrated goss and stabbed it right into Sean Dick's left carotid artery. Dick's. Dick's shit brown eyes. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Fuck you, Ginger. <laughs> shit brown eyes? You can't go outside without a circus tent. If anyone would like to see Dick Masterson wearing a parasol, a... go to Instagram.com slash Peach Saliva and you can see that motherfucker wearing a parasol that I normally wear. Because he was worried about getting a sunburn. So suck my cock. Anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, Sean, Sean plucked a dirty, used syringe from Dick's tangly mess of Tarzan hair, filled it with concentrated goss, and stabbed it right into Dick's left carotid artery. Dick's shit brown eyes lit up like Reddit after finding out Maddox secretly filed a trademark for the biggest problem in the universe, TM. It's funny. 
Sean's heart, Sean's heart was so filled with love. Semen nearly flew out of his body <laughs> like a slutty phoenix rising out of a big gay pile of ashes. <laughs> That's when Sean made the sign of the cross. Sean, my darling audio engineer, Sean, made the sign of the cross and he prayed to the patron saint. I mean, come on, man. What? Like, at least make the dick part bigger. What the Hold fuck? Hold on, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not even there yet. Black Sean. gorilla pills? Anyway. Sean made the sign of the cross, and Sean prayed to the patron saint of cock to give Thanks for this auspicious day. Not one to be outdone, Dick began bench pressing his own ego, which, due to its tremendous size and mass, was honestly pretty impressive. Thank you. You're welcome. Sean, Sean pressed his adorable baby kitten face against Dick's empty cavernous skull and gave him an understated, but nevertheless passionate butterfly kiss. Aww, isn't that cute? I hate it. Hold it there. <laughs> Why don't you give us an example of what that was like? Get the, no, get the Give us an example, going. don't you want to see what it looks kissing. like? No, 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 give no, no, us no, a no. Line no. Butterfly kiss, Sean. Fucking butterfly kissing, dude. Kiss. kiss, butterfly kiss. 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 Butterfly kiss. It's just your eyelashes. Well, that's peak weirdness. Look at these two pussies up here. They won't even butterfly kiss. My God. Anyway. 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 With, with all of this sensual stimulation. Dick's ugly, underutilized knees nearly gave out, and his flimsy, feeble turkey legs fluttered around like the ribbons he uses to tie back his stupid, stupid hair. A lot of people asked me about those ribbons. Yeah. Because there were other men who had who long also hair. Had stupid hair, right. Sure. Who wanted to be able to put them around their wrists, too. It's useful. Anyway. It's resourceful. <laughs> My ass. <clears throat> Mad cucks. Mad cucks. Thank you. Playing with himself on Dick's computer screen via Skype, willed his gross, literal pussy mouth into a conceited, smug little smile. One might even say it was so smug you could have cut the smug with a knife you wished to God you could stab him with. Meanwhile, Dick... <laughs> Meanwhile, Dick playfully batted away at Sean's previously mentioned freakishly tangly black eyelashes. Is that Sean? Yeah, that's Sean. And that's you, and those are his eyelashes. Do you see how aroused you are? Yeah, he's doing like a tangled with the, his eyelashes. Yeah, exactly. See, he gets it. I'm so glad. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, look at the size of that face. Yeah! The whole side, that covers my whole fucking face. Like a normal face. Well, Thank anyway. you. Looks great. Yeah, it's almost as Who if cares your face what else is, is normal. Going on anyway. In the picture. Meanwhile, <laughs> this inspired Sean, as Sean knew that playing hard to get with Dick is as easy as it is for women to believe Denzel is drugging their drinks. Carried away with lust, Sean threw an embarrassing girlish punch at Dick's face. Now, I need your help. Choose your own adventure. Does Sean land the punch on Dick's face, or does Sean not land the punch on Dick's face? I'm hearing no. No. All right. Because of my agility. I don't think it's because of your agility, It's too small sweetheart. to hit, Peach. Well. You can't hit my face. It's like, a, it's like an illusion. It's not even there. It's just the idea of a phase. Certainly. 
Sean's fist missed Dick's tiny face, surprising no one, considering the laughably small target. In a sexual juxtaposition of anger and that? arousal, a glowing, heavenly waterfall began to stream forth from Dick's pores, but instead of actual sweat, it was just shitty mid-strength beer. That's this accurate. Ca- this caused... This caused Sean... Look at these fucking burly arms that you got! Yeah, he's got some burly arms! He's so beefy! Isn't he beefy? I got... I don't know if some of you... Flex, show us! You can give him a flex, flex if you want. Sean! I don't care, go ahead! Yeah, flex! <laughs> yeah! I swear to God, man, you are turning into Slash, and I am turning into Axel. <laughs> Just two fucking planets coming out here, sinking into the stage. I got to be hugged by Sean, those big burly arms wrapped around me. <sighs> I, would, I would give it a nine out of ten. She did 10. say it was an eight. She nine did say it was 10. an eight. That's bullshit. Anyway. Let's see, where was I? Ah, yes. Uh, blah, 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 actual mid-strength beer. So mid-strength beer. This caused Sean to blush. And Sean blushed like a virgin bride being carried across the threshold. He blushed like a ripened strawberry field in the sultry heat of summer. He blushed like the first wild rose that blooms in an unseasonably early spring. Yes, I tell you, friends, he blushed like a complete and total cuck. Now, speaking of cucks, with all the excitement, Mad Cucks excused himself from the screen to use the restroom where he most assuredly sat down to pee. (laughs) Are you guys as hard as I am yet? That's what I want to hear. Up, 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 up. Patience, my darling, patience. Sean reached out with his effervescent, womanly, incredibly well manicured hand. And he grabbed Dick by his wispy, sparse, patchy mustache. And he pulled him close until the two were nose to nose. Dick, he said, suggestively sucking on a pipe in the size and shape of what it means to be a man. Dick. Is that a cock? Yeah, basically. Dick, 9 11 may not have been an inside job, but this sure will be. <laughs> Dick. Dick was absolutely bewitched by Sean's wildly inappropriate, highly offensive, and strangely timed attempt to reference a serious national tragedy. Oh, Sean, didn't anyone ever tell you to never forget? Dick cried out in a patriotic ecstasy. Well, you better be careful, Sean because these ropey streams can melt steel beams. <laughs> That's fucking gross, Pete. But then, but then, just before Dick could finish zipping up his plane costume, the star Dick wished upon in the previous chapter began to glisten and glow, and lo, a magical libertarian fairy soared down from the heavens to grant Dick one wish out of three possible libertarian wishes. No more roads! They are these wishes three. Wish number one. No taxes. Abolish the IRS. That's good. Wish number two. Eliminate national debt. No, nah, I don't care about that. Wish number three, legalize... Let me mansplain to you about the national debt. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. It's not real money. 
You know, I've heard that you tend to ruin climaxes, but I didn't know it'd be like this. Wish number three, legalize raw milk. To be continued, the end. <laughs> Thank you. You had the toilet paper going the wrong way, though, on that thing. I didn't draw it. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Peach, for your disgusting fan fiction. My pleasure. Let's do... Let's get those Shauna likes back up here. Ooh, Where are Shauna you guys? likes! Can we get some house lights? I want to see you guys. How many of you do we have? All right, we got one Shauna like... Two Shauna likes. Holy shit. Come down here. All the Shauna likes come down here. Get out. Oh, you're wearing a white top. Get that. What is this? Like a, like a bizarro, Sean? Look at how fucking muscular this guy. <laughs> oh. All right, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. What the fuck? Go, you can go, you can go around the side. Well, all right. You've all passed the physical challenge part of the Shauna Like contest. Sean, what's that? I love you. I love you too, buddy. I love you too. Yes, yes, yes. Please go around the side. Please go around the side. Let me, un let me untangle this thing. It's these cables, man. Okay. Okay, let's do... Sean, where are you? I don't know where the real Sean is anymore. Yeah, you look about right. Okay, let's go through... Yeah, man, you are... See, you're the... You're the essence and embodiment of how, how tall Sean feels. <laughs> Even though you are so tall, have you seen, can you see this? <laughs> this is, I told you the show's gonna get a lot fucking weirder, man. No, no, we gotta get through stuff. You, you, this is, what is this? This isn't a Sean alike. This guy's in a stereo alike. Not a Sean alike. You know, this isn't a stereos alike. No, there's not. You win the stereos alike contest. You got a 10 minute um, ad for trying to find your ex wife a place to live that you want to. No, I got nothing. What's your name? Uh, Tony, hack movie. All right, Tony, get the fuck out of here. You're not just. Uh... You. This is not a Sean alike either. You just think you can, you're a, such a big muscular hunk, you think you can get away with anything, don't you? What's your name? Lance. Lance, how old are you? 30. All right, Lance. I see, I was once a young strapping man. Now I see that gut that you got, you got growing on you. There was a time where I had a gut and it got, it got out of control. It got out of fucking control. I was about your age too, Lance. When it started, it kept going. No, 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 no. Don't keep it tight. You gotta just embrace it. You gotta get invest in a vest like this so you can pin it down. Nobody can see anything. I remember when I could wear tops like that too, Lance. Get the hell out of here, Lance. Good effort, good effort. Here's the guy from Switzerland. So anyway, I flew across half of the planet to be the second most handsome person in the fucking world after Sean. Did anybody come here from further than Switzerland? Anybody? No, Connecticut doesn't count. Who else? Somebody did? Somebody did over there? All right, you guys go fight. 
What's this? Deep V. A deep V. To be like Sean. Did you make this in the parking lot? I made this in the bathroom here. I also snuck in two razors to shave because they confiscated one, but I had one in my back pocket because what asshole would bring two razors? That's a Maddox alike. What's How your name? How dare you? How dare you? What's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Get the hell out of here. That's not... It's gotta be black! It's a black... How hard is it to get a black V-neck? All these guys got black V-necks. Sean's got 6,000 black V-necks at home. This is taxation day. This is an America shirt. For taxation is theft. For taxation is theft. You, you desecrated a USA shirt. Without even ripping the sleeves off. It's more like Sean than any of these guys. No, get the hell out of here. Get out of here. What's your name? I'm Juan. Juan, you're already in the other one. I am. Get the hell out of here, Juan. How much attention do you need? A lot. Hold on. Okay. So my Sean is a Sean with a backstory. Okay? As you can see, I'm overweight and a different race. Okay? So... I'm, I'm gonna take you guys back to early 2016. The biggest problem is over. The biggest problem is over. Sean has to make a choice, and he stays with Madcast Media Network. They're, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And he gained a shitload of weight, because he ate a lot of food, and he turned into me and got real sad. So you're the bizarro universe, Sean? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just less funny. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> What makes a good Sean is the zingers, right? Letting me go off for 10 minutes and coming back with a zinger, right, Sean? So I say, what makes me rage? Fucking up a McDonald's order. Because you get like one of them. You get like one a month, man, because they poison your system, right? So you go up, the, and the absolutely the most disappointing thing in the world is getting that McDonald's order thinking you're in, and you're in a panic because you got the whole thing memorized, but every time you go, they switch it up on you a little bit and you get a little bit bamboozled. So you throw out, oh man, I don't know, I wanted a quarter pounder with cheese, but maybe I'll switch it up and get a Big Mac or something like that. And then you get up to the window, you get it, and you think, God damn it, I did want, I did want the double quarter pounder with cheese. And now I blew the whole month. My whole month of rations, my McDonald's rations is gone. You gotta zing it. This is up to your guy. This is up to you guys. Who's got a zinger? <laughs> I had a zinger prepared, but I deleted it. You're the winner. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? What do you, what's, what's your names? Let me go get your names real fast. What's your name? Christoph. Christoph. I know. Steven. Steve. Frank. Frank. Barry. Barry. Aaron. Aaron. Jesse. Jesse. Can I go home now? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. You, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you. See me afterwards. I'll get you a shirt. So. I'll be throwing out. I'm gonna throw out shirts. All right, all right, guys. Thank you, Sean's. Thank you, Sean's. Get, Sean, get a picture with these guys. Come into the light. Come into the light, Sean. What is this? Oh, yeah. Hey, who's wearing an Adam Nash shirt? Here you guys go. You get these, these dickles. You can trade them for uh, Mad Bucks. The conversion currency for Dickles to Mad Bucks is actually very, very high right now. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. It's a cryptocurrency, so you know, it's bullshit and assholes love talking about it. All right, guys, thank you very much. Big hand for the Shauna likes, everybody. Guys, you, there's, a, there's some stairs over there. Go hit the... Go. 
Sean, lead. Sean, be like a mama duckling and lead all your shots on the stage, please. <laughs> no, go that way. Go the safe way. Go the safe way. No, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go, go on, guys. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Oh, good. Thanks. That's nice to hear because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing up here. All right. Is Asterio still here? Asterios, get back out of here. So far, I'm getting $800 back. But then I click the button that says ex-wife, and now I owe $14,000 to the IRS. Terrible. Patreon.com slash Asteros, help me stay out of debtor's prison. All right. Talk about what? Uh, pumps, the, the strip club that I did a D&D game uh, above last night. You play Dungeons and Dragons at a strip club? Yeah. Oh, man. Second Where time ever that? I've gone to a strip club dressed like a wizard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's find, let's, let's find out who the biggest rage is in Philly is. We got all the judges here. Mad Cux has like a real life. <laughs> all right, this is Shelby. We got a Shelby in here. <laughs> Give me a harump. Shelby, is that you? Get on up here, Shelby, please, girl. Get on up here, Shelby. Come on, no, Shelby. No, 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 no. We're not climbing on the stage anymore. That was an, that was an invasion of Sean's. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's that? Water? <laughs> oh, I got, I got some more. Thank you. Uh, hold, yeah, yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw three of you guys from this thing. Those are great shoes. That's such an old line. We have a great relationship. I have no daddy issues, so nice try. This guy didn't write their name on it. Um, parents not living up to what I was expecting. Are you here? Oh, thank God. Come on up. Yo. You're going to rage, Shelby. That's what you're going to do. Who wrote Italians? I could read half of me is annoyed with that rage. <laughs> me too. You're not Italian. Just, you know. Maybe you can pull up the looking at it. No, 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 uh, no takers on that one? All right, let's do one. No, 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 no. I'm only going for names. Okay, Matt. There's a lot of Matt's here. <laughs> Matt? He's talking about the Trocadero. Mad Cucks, maybe? Come on up. One. Get up here, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, God. You got this, Shelby. Thank you. It's perfect. Thank you. Unbelievable. So, I, so many beautiful women in the crowd tonight. It's true. 
All right, Shelby, this is for the coveted title of the Philly Road Rage Champ. Please tell us what makes you a rage. You want to know what makes me a fucking rage? When I was at that fucking bar, I ordered a Red Bull and vodka first, and they were like, oh, it's 10.50, when usually when I go to a bar that's outside of this fucking city, it is less than $10. It's at least like, oh, it's like six to $7. But no, instead they had that goddamn soda tax where anything that's a soda, any kind of sugary drink, they have to go and put it under the guise of, oh, we're trying to make everybody healthy, we're trying to go and help all of the causes, meh. But instead, it's like, no, we want your money, and Philadelphia is more than likely two to six billion dollars in the fucking hole, and they want to go and tax us for a bunch of bullshit like soda, which causes all of the businesses to make all of their products more expensive than they needed to, then they're going to lose business because of these fucking things, and then the grocery store aren't going to be able to sell things as much because they're taxing everything and that's the whole point of this fucking show is that taxation is theft! Yeah. Yeah. You guys have a soda tax here? That's where they get you. The stuff that you can't stop doing, that's where they get you. Thank you very much, Shelby. Okay, who is... Brilliant. What's your, parents not living, what was your name? Spencer. Spencer, step up. Step up to the mic, please. Thank you very much, Shelby. Step up to the mic. Spencer, where are you from? Uh, I live in New Jersey. Uh, here, let me adjust that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let me, let me crunch. Only, it's, it's a very it's complicated a machine. It's too much. It's too much. That's good. Thank you. Let me mansplain how to use this. <laughs> Lefty Lucy is the way I like to remember it. I'm lefty, so I know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, who said that? All right, Spencer. What makes you a rage? Uh, whoever spot I stole, because I just raised my hand and I came up here. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> Libertarianism at work. <laughs> You want it, you take it. I right. guess it's me. Am I the biggest rage? Because I stole some guy's spot. So, you that's earned it. that guy's spot, sir. You earned it because you wanted it more. You are a hero. Now rage for it. You want it. Yeah, I fucking suck because I stole some guy's spot. He, rate, he asked who was coming up. I was like, oh, it's me. And that guy in the hat right there by that pillar was so nice. Right there, with the two hands up has been high-fiving me all night with every joke. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I'm just the biggest rage because I stole some guy's spot up here. Exactly. You made my night. That's all I needed to hear. Don't you boo this hero. <laughs> this guy, right. he found a way to make it about him and he took it. That's what we call pulling an Asterios. <laughs> Good job. That was parents not living up to what I was expecting. Yeah, that was me. That was me. I said that. Whoever did put that in, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Matt? Yeah. Get up there. Are you actually Matt, or did you still say yeah, spot like me? All right, whoa, 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 let me do the mic thing again. <laughs> Sorry, short guy. So you twist the thing. So you, what you do is, <laughs> if it's too high, you got to lower it. Because this is the part that you talk, that makes the talking loud. I don't know if that's too advanced. All right. Good, thank you. Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, so, what makes me a rage? We have a host of one of the greatest podcasts ever recorded in the history of the world, and he starts bringing in all this money on Patreon, and he's got like four or five months. To Get plan right out. up on that mic, Matt. He's got four or five months to plan out this great, great live show, and what does he do? He waits till about like three weeks beforehand, yeah. and wonders why he can't get a live show venue in. Los Angeles. I mean, dude, two weeks? Are you kidding me? And then all of a sudden, he finally gets a bunch of fans <laughs> to help out with Philadelphia, and he has the nerve 
to get on a podcast and call the theater the Troco Barrow? Come on, man. That's what makes me a rage. You know what? Sometimes your best friends are the ones that tell you truths you don't want to hear. That's right. Chill. For example, my friends keep saying I'm an alco. Wait, what is it? A, a liquor head? Liquor head. A liquor head. Liquor head. And it's like when they say that, the first thing I do is I take a swig at them. Because how dare they tell me how to act? But you, get, you did the hard thing tonight. You stood up here and you told the truth. Now boo him for it! <laughs> How dare you! All right, uh, Shelby, it looks like you're in the lead, but we got one more. We got the sleeper. You got two more. There's two more. Get up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Get up. Get up there, my man. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Was the, is this Italians? Yeah, Italians. We found you? All right. What, what's your name? JP, two letters. JP? Yeah. Where are you from? Bucks County. Burbs. Yeah. Where? Bucks County. Yeah. Yeah. Is that here? Burbs. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Would you say that your accent is an authentic Philly accent then? When I say like Water Park or like Edgewater Park, New Jersey. Yeah. Shout out to the Germans and the Polacks in the crowd. Anybody? All right, what makes you rage, buddy? Italians. <laughs> <laughs> they did invent pizza, America invented pizza. Thank you very much. They drink coffee out of little cups. And their flag only has three colors. What other country does that? <laughs> okay, thank you. Right. Short, but sweet, but racist. <laughs> racist about drinking out of little cups. <laughs> All right, Juan, get up there. Hey! Oh, my God, it's Maui from Moana. <laughs> you half Chinese. My niece loves you. You half Greek, half Chinese piece of shit. I swear to God. Quarter Portuguese, uh, first of all, First of all, first Juan, of all, what makes making you fun rage? of Philly, making fun of the trucker era, and making fun of Dick. You can't do that. Big foul. Can't do that. Big, Big foul. foul. No, 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 no. Big foul. All right. Uh, what makes me a rage are people whose entire personality and everything they like and do centers around a corporation called Disney. Now, Disney is not the problem. It is people who only go to Disneyland, only share BuzzFeed articles that say top 10 reasons why you are just like Ariel and you will grow up to be here even though you're already 33 and haven't done anything with your life. You're a piece of shit, and I hate every one of you. I want your houses to be firebombed. Fuck you. All right, we're gonna vote. Get out here, get out here, get out here. Everybody out here, everybody out here. Italians. Arriva Derci. <laughs> Douchebag douche hosts who wait till the last minute and then call it the Trocadero instead of the Trocadero because they're an effeminate LA scumbag. Good luck with that floating house that Ed Asner lives in. A guy who seized power for himself. Yeah! I don't think so. I don't think so. The soda tax. Yeah. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. People who define themselves by Disney. 
Sorry, Sasha. We got a winner! Been enough Asian flesh on this stage tonight. <laughs> eh, we're all Asian in a way. Good job, buddy. Good job. I really want the Etsy woman that made that to put that on her product page. <laughs> Satisfied customer, Juan, Road Rage champ. What's that? How many shirts did you buy? <laughs> More. Hey, Dustin is here. Dustin, are you out there? <laughs> You know, no bullshit, I was the most excited about meeting Dustin. <laughs> My God, I really, it's gonna be so much fun, but God, I really wanna meet Dustin. It's always great to meet the guy who'll eventually murder you in your sleep. <laughs> where is he? Dustin, where you at? Yeah, where's the chief dickhead? Dustin. Uh, it's possible that he wasn't let in because his driver's license is expired. There, I see movement. There he is. There he Dustin, is. Dustin, do you have questions from people? It's been far too long, man. God damn, man. Woo! Ah. What is up? Hey, yeah, suck it. Nobody, fucking cucks. I sure hope nobody throws apples at Dustin. No, no, oh, no. No, hide behind me. No, don't we do made that, it this far. That's not fun. All right, Dustin, you got some questions? We got lots of questions in this audience. Uh, one, first question is, why the fuck is Dustin up there? Uh, I've been on hiatus for a while, but I'm back at it. Because I know there's still questions out there that can get to Dick. Where is Coach? He's, he's at home. Coach is at home. Coach is, is at home? Is that the question? Yeah, no. Coach is at home. So, all right. Who has, who out there has a good fucking banging question who wants to come up here and ask Dick some questions? Somebody out there has got some questions. Wait, right Dick, couldn't you just ask if the audience yeah, had questions? You, I thought you had them but from before. Yeah, did you not no. do any preparation <laughs> for this? No, I do, I do. Guys. Have you ever heard? Hey, who out there has any questions? Is that literally all you? No. All right, okay. so up front, we have Wait, a, do you uh, really not have questions? I was gonna get questions. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> We're getting fucking questions, bro. <laughs> listen, listen. I do. I do what I'm told to do. That's all. You have a question? Yeah, go ahead. We have one right here. What's your dad like? What's what? What's my dad like? You're very beautiful. Thank you for asking that. My dad has more energy than any man on the planet. I hope so. Yeah. He's got, that guy wakes, if he's not actively engaged in like a, he's like a version of Dan Cortez that you just don't want to punch in the mouth. He does, all he does all day is extreme sports, and lawnscaping. Lonsca That's what my dad's wait, like. Wait, wait, when you say extreme sports, like, do you mean like jujitsu or like skateboarding? 
Like anything, anything that he can get an intense adrenaline thrill. Like I feel like he's a man from a total other time. But for like he's a version of me that exists without computers, right. where it's just action, action, action all the time. Like the, like the dead in Venture Brothers, where he's just right, like right, right. this extreme version of me. Like, he's got more like energy than anybody else in the world. People will take other people's kids to your dad. Just to like to learn the dadsmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I met I met Dick's dad once. We all had lunch together. Uh, he came over to have lunch with you, and before you knew it, he was outside cutting down bamboo trees. Yeah, Remi it's like yeah. oh, he's yeah. not kidding. I really want you to have your dad on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he said he would. He said he would come on and answer any questions that people had about him. He didn't have a very clearly defined bit, but that's what he he wanted. I think it's enough. Cause here's the thing: you've benefited from your dad's wisdom. Don't the people deserve the benefit? Yeah, from I'll it bring too? him on. What the hell? I'm just saying. What? All right, moving on. Next question. Next question. What? Why is Justin still a thing? Why am I still a thing? Seriously, why is it? <laughs> Dick, you want to answer that? Well. It's because we thought he could get some questions <laughs> and bring them up, you know, just so it'd be nice and smooth. This is, this is fucking smooth, buddy. Next question. Hey, Dr. Smoothrod here. I've got a question. Oh, hey, Dr. Smoothrod. What's up, man? What makes you a rage? Oh, uh, I don't have that prepared, but I do have a question for you. Go ahead. You've heard of the stages of grief, right? And, you know, acceptance, denial, et cetera, et cetera. Can yeah. you tell us what are the stages of rage? Oh. I'll tell you what the stages of rage are. The first one is that you think there's something wrong with you. And you try to adapt yourself to what's the, the problem, you, you try to act like the person who defines themselves by Disneyland is sane in any way. You say, you know what, baby, yeah, I will take you to Disneyland, sure, but it eats, it eats away at your brain. That's the first stage. The next stage is the raw stage, where you just find yourself trying to, ba you're bailing the canoe all day to maintain your sanity. And then you have the numb stage, where you're just saying things because you know what to say all the time. Yeah, I fucking love Goofy as well. I can't wait to see the Magic Kingdom. Oh, the fucking Haunted Mansion, when they do it with Jack Skellington, is so fucking great. It's the greatest thing ever in the world. It makes me want to blow my goddamn brains out. I can't wait to experience. I hate the teacups too, of course. Everyone hates the teacups. That's something for children. That's the numb stage. Most people don't get out of that stage. And the fourth stage is the trigger stage. That's when Disneyland goes up against something like this show. Or the, the season premiere of the new BoJack Horseman or something. You say, you know what? I just, I just can't do this anymore and you get some spark back behind your eyes. You say, I don't really love Goofy all that much. I don't fucking understand why everyone is so impressed by this pre-manufactured shit in a parking lot in the middle of Anaheim that stinks like humans. And when you float that one across and you land one, that's your spear. That's the Leonidas spear that nicks the god, and you say, oh, I've been right this whole fucking time. <laughs> Disneyland is fucking dumb. <laughs> and now, you're gonna get it. Because I've been sitting here listening to this shit for children for years, pretending that I like it. And now you've got a whole bunch in store for you about what I think about Disneyland. And that's how you get this gentleman over here. Where did he go? One. He's a, that's, the fi that's the five stages of rage. Does that answer your question? Absolutely. All right, next question, next question. Give it up. Dick! Yeah. Chelsea, the official TDS trap here. 
Dustin, who doesn't have a license, wouldn't let me drive his car to Road Rage. Can you tell him to let me drive home? No. <laughs> Listen, first off, first off, I'm not letting some Justin. bad bitch drive my car home. Let's that that ain't happening. I wouldn't let no, you drive a power wheel, sweetie. I don't know. <laughs> I think you made the right call. That ain't happening. Hey, we found someone that makes people like Dustin better. <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, but seriously, get the fuck back there. Yeah, Hi, Dexton. Dexton. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? So, unfortunately, Dr. Smoothrod kind of stole my thunder here. I had almost exactly the same question of what progresses, what, what's the uh, process that uh, creates your rage there. Uh, you, remember the, uh, you remember the too much swearing song? Yeah, yeah. I made that. Um, but... Uh, my question is, I guess... Oh, so you sent the Too Much Swearing book? Yeah, no, I created that, yeah. You created that book? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, uh, my question, I guess, is where did you get your wig, since I'm out of questions now? That's a great question. I got it at Heritage Costumes. Actually, 80s Girl put this whole outfit together. Yeah, thank you. Handcrafted. And as I was looking at it to buy it, I said, wow, it looks exactly like that little picture that Maxima Panic did. And then I realized he probably just traced it. Uh, like, he probably looked at that <laughs> to make it. So I look like the cartoon version. Heritage costumes. Um. There you go. Oh, there, there you go. Next what, person. are you going to go buy one? I highly recommend it. I don't ever want to take this thing off. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you the question I thought he asked. Where do you get your rage? Was there a point in your life when you were into rage? Get when did you bring... Okay, shut the fuck up, Dustin. <laughs> There's an actual professional comedian talking here, not a guy with a buzz cut who's a super fan. Shut the fuck up. Someone shut his mic off for a second. That's it. I'm uh, fucking... Yeah, it. don't even try you're for a You're done comeback. as serious, you're cut off. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, Dex... Where, uh -oh. where did you... Oh. 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 Who's the fucking cut now, Asterios? <laughs> Actually, Long story uh, short, when did you break bad? Where did your rage come from? That actually goes with what I wanted to ask, too. We all know what gets you really fucking riled up. What makes you not a rage? That's the opposite question. That's the opposite. Yeah. What makes me rage? Uh, you know... <sighs> It's not enough, it's not enough. Let's do the, ta the taxation is theft thing. It's not enough that we all gotta pay the taxes, but we also gotta be told that we should be happy doing it. It's the being told how I should feel about it that really pisses me off. I don't care, I don't care if we got, like just, just take it. Just take it, out of, just take it out of the bank. Just take, tell me that you like Disneyland. Tell me that you, uh, what, that Italian's cups are too small. Some that your parents didn't live up to your expectations. C come up here and steal a, guy, steal a guy's turn, and that's fine. But just don't tell me how I should feel about it. That's it. Just do it. As soon, as soon as I have to feel happy about it, I start to get real fucking pressured about it, man. Because I can't push it down. I push it down harder and harder. I push that feeling down that I want to have of just saying, I don't care. But they just keep taking. They keep taking a little bit at a time. Like, oh, you don't care? How do you... How about this? Do you not care about this? Like, how about this? Do you not care about this? I was like, I don't know, man. Now it's starting to, now it's starting to upset me. Now you're pushing harder and harder, and you're compressing it down into a diamond until it fucking explodes. And I think that happens to all of us. Hmm. Next question. What makes me a calm? Blowjobs, man. Time out. All day, every day, never stop, 25 hours a day. BJ's, BJ's, BJ's. Right? Yeah. Hey, Dick. Oh, God, that's What's loud. up? It's Digi, bro. Shout out to Juan, uh, Juan, who got me drunk before the show. What's up, uh, Digi, Great bro? guy. Uh, I want to ask if... If Maddox came to you and was like all apologetic and wanted to like make it all water under the bridge, what would you do? How would you react if he wanted to make amends with you? Would he want to start a new podcast or what? Because he just wants to say... Would you do it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would do, I would do a podcast with Maddox. 
I don't fucking care. It would be, it would be 100 times meaner than the one was before. They would have to set it up in a fucking ring, this podcast. An octagon ring, a nonagon ring. It would, have too many, it would have too many sides for him to calculate with his failed math degree. I think it's more a, people like you now than like Maddox uh, ever did. I, I don't know. He, just, I don't, he doesn't work like that. He doesn't apologize. It's the weirdest fucking thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. Who would buy the snacks this time? Who would buy the snacks this yeah. time? Randy. Reality? Ran- hopefully Randy. Oh, Randy. 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 Right. Yeah. What do you think I would what do you think I would do if Maddox apologized? I don't even know how you apologize for this. Like you got to understand everybody everybody I knew no longer fucking talks to me. Like not I'm not playing a violin cuz whatever it happens, but like yeah, people that I didn't even know 10 years ago now just fucking hate me. I don't know how you unwind that. Like, I don't know how you apologize for that. Like, hey, here's, here's people I could hang around with, but now I can't because it looks bad for them to, to be seen, like, to be associated with the show. I don't know. Yeah, yeah no shit. What's up? How you doing? Why did the bartender over there hand me a shock top and then immediately took it away, poured it down, and gave me a cup of water instead. Did I, do a, did I break a rule? Yeah, you broke a rule of a man ordering a shock top. What are you talking about? That's a chick beer, man. What? I'm a shock top. <laughs> yeah, they're for you. Not all beer should taste like a punch in the face. They should. All beer should top like I'm chewing on a tire made of hops. That's it. That's a beer. Sometimes a nice little bit of orange and a half of ice. It isn't bad. <laughs> All right. So the thing, that, the thing that keeps me coming back week after week to the Dick Show is the hot goss. I love it. I love your vengeful spitefulness. Yeah. I wish I could, you know, channel that rage against my enemies. So my question is, um, you know, <laughs> Asterios kind of played both sides, and then eventually he went to your side. Sean was on both sides, but then he eventually went to your side. What was the straw that broke your, the camel's back for your participation in, in the Maddox? <laughs> for Asterios or me? No, for, for, for you, Sean. Obviously the money. Um, I, I don't think Sean cares about the money, to be honest. Like, I don't think Sean could be bought. Yeah, what do you think, Sean? Well... You want, you want the answer? I'll tell yeah, you the yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason that I quit, that I quit Maddox, and... Uh, it sounds like Brokeback Mountain, what you say. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't that hard. I never quit you, Maddox. <laughs> well, um, Dick asked me to. As part of a... That's, that's part of it. Can I tell you what I... I'm yeah. so sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Can I tell no, you what I assume... Ha- the whole time I've assumed this happened. Tell me if it's true or false. This whole time I've assumed that at one point you asked Maddox for a raise and that he, he didn't say, like, no, I can't afford to. He said, like, no, you don't deserve it. Did you ever ask Maddox for a raise? No. Uh, no, not like that. Uh, no, I asked him for... Uh, a raise, and I got a small amount. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he didn't invent those yet. Um, yeah, there was another project that I was going to start uh, working on, not as uh, not as quick, not as quickly. It was still probably a month or two away. Um, um, you Wait, know, but further... Stereo's interrupted you. What were you going to say before you? Well, that's what I was going to say. I was kind of going to give the backstory, but. Um, yeah, uh, one of them was I was always going to stay on Dick's podcast. There was only going to I was going to have time for one at one point, but Dick asked me to when I said I said, "Look, you know, um, I want to raise." <laughs> that goddamn That was before Patreon let you hide the Well, amount. no, and here's the thing. Because the show was doing well. The show was doing well, and I said, "Let's get a more professional rate." Dick said, Dick said, he said, he said, okay. He said, okay. He said, okay. I asked for a, uh, like a, like a per episode amount. And he said, well, or we could do a percentage. 
And um, which, you know, hadn't occurred to me. Dick's always been the better, the better big picture guy uh, than me. <laughs> and um, I said, okay. And he said, but you gotta quit Maddox now. And I said, okay. Thanks to you, people. And you know, to, to be honest, to be honest, it was, it was right all the way around. It was the right thing to do. Is that, that's about the story, that's isn't it? I got, yeah. I got a follow up to that. Yeah, sure. How did you confront him about the rape video? I, well, I had, um, I had a several hour conversation with him. Well, it went, you know, it, it, not really sure what was solved other than... Uh, was I still a rapist at the end of the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> How long was no? the rape list by the end of your conversation? <laughs> it was added, added to it. Yeah, it <laughs> What was that? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It, we, we went round and round in circles, and there wasn't really anything to... Yes. <laughs> All right, what do you... What, that, good question. Anyway, good question. That's, that's, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. that's really about Next it. Next question, zip right up. Hi, my name's Jeff. Um, I'm getting married in October. Oh, don't. It, <laughs> she, she's got a great rack and a tight ass. A great, you got a great wife? She's got a great rack and a tight ass. Oh, do it then. You got to enjoy that rack, man. Yeah. Enjoy, every day, every day it's a gift from God, that rack. Right, right. My question is, what's, it's been racking my brain for months now. Um, with marriage comes a last name change, right? Yeah. Um, my dad is a deadbeat, absentee piece of shit, so I don't care about my last name, but she's really into us having the same last name. Now, I'm not gonna take her last name, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, our idea is to come up with a brand new last name. Whoa. So my, my question to the council is, what should my new last name be? I think we all know. You're both gonna take this last name? How funny do you want it to be? On a, on a scale of, of Smith to the Pussy Destroyer, <laughs> what do you want your, last, your new last name to be? Wienerstein. Wienerstein. Not quite the Pussy Destroyer. Not quite the Pussy Destroyer, but close to it. Do you Dustin, want to hold the mic up to his mouth. Do something <laughs> up here. Do something, Dustin. Let me get this mic for you, sir. It can't be the Pussy Destroyer, because it's also her last name, and she is a teacher. She can... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pussy Destroyer? <laughs> Mrs., excuse me, right, sorry. Right. Uh, what do you guys, what do you think? Last names. Masterson. Masterson. It's classy. I made it up. It was working well for me. All right. Peach, what do you think? I agree. I think Masterson's perfect. Sean? Mrs. Masterson? What do you think? Herrera. Could do worse. <laughs> you could do worse. Thank you. Make it... You. Yeah. Alternate last name, Rageopopolis. I, or I'm stupid. Just because when people address you, they have to say I'm stupid. <laughs> and it puts them at a disadvantage. <laughs> like, Mr. I'm stupid? That's right. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Uh, Everywhere you go. A cop pulls you over. Mr. I'm stupid, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write that ticket, bitch. <laughs> worth it. Every fucking day, worth it. Yes. So I need some dick tips. Uh, picking up chicks in a hat like this. What's that? What's, the, what's your question? How do you pick up chicks wearing a Make America Great Again hat? No, man, we got the hottest chicks. We yeah. got hot fucking chicks. In yeah. New York City? Yeah, what's that? New York City. In New York City? Uh, that's a stereos' territory. Yeah. Tell them you're a writer and you're wearing it ironically. <laughs> and then get them, to write, get them to write with you above strip clubs and play Dungeons and Dragons with you and then worm your way in. Can I also, it's a uh, Trump-themed Dungeons and Dragons campaign that you're running. 
And can I also a, have an affirmative nod that'll fill me with the sense of pride? From Sean? From you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Miss me net? Yeah, um, this sounds good. Nope, doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> so, guys, what are your shoes like? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peach, you want to go first? I'll go first. First of all, I am wearing a Steve Madden limited edition Freebird Festival type. They cost me $400. They're a little bit dirty right now, but they are very comfortable. And they're very sexy, and I love them very, very much. What do you got? These? Are these um, Kendall and Hyde shoes? No. <laughs> no, they're Hugo Boss. Do you Boss, have Kendall actually. and Hyde? Oh, no. Hugo Boss. I wear them because there's, there's no laces. To the what? Yes. yes. What do you got, yes. Asterios? Yeah, well, what are you fucking that's shoes? Funny. That's funny. Uh, no joke. My mommy bought me these six months ago. My mommy and I go shoe shopping together. And my mommy bought me these from Skechers. It's the S. These are whatever cheap shit shoes they had at Macy's. And I brought them home after I bought them like 10 years ago and discovered that they're the exact same model as my only other pair of dress shoes, but black. And like, I could have saved myself a lot of time if I had just bought the same fucking ones. And we all are ready to go. We're all aroused now because of that mm, question. Thank, thank you. you. First of all, Asterios, fuck Roman Reigns. Um, also, Sean, my question is... We just have 200 people here that just got uh, their tax return, which is fake. But how much would it cost for you to take off your shirt? <laughs> Wait, what was that? What did he say? What did he say? How much would it cost for Sean to take off his shirt? Next question. More than you got, man. I got $100. Oh, get out of here. Sean isn't a stripper. Get out of here. Your money can't be bought. Your money's no good here. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, Sean. Come on. Oh. What, what is... You got, how many guys Sean. are in this room? What, what, where have, how wrong have we gone? Let me tell you something. This is what on? happened to That's Lucy Wilde. This a Wild. terrible turn we've taken here. She got these models. They get everybody's into them. And as long as they don't show their nipples, they could do it forever. Like Denise, Denise oh. Milani. Forever. You, as soon as you take it off, everyone's done. You can't, no matter how much money they give you, do not show your nipples. You've got to preserve the mystery. got to preserve go. the mystery of your nipples. A nipple yeah. is worth, is worth it's, it, it lives in your imagination. In the imagination of it's people, true. the nipple. Yeah. Don't yeah. ever do it. Don't right. do it. Don't insult him with money. Sean is looking for a ring. That's what it would take to get him to take Ooh. his shirt off. What's up? Oh, of course. <laughs> Daddy needs a new apartment. Why the fuck do you have so many tens? Who carries around tens? That's the, the ATM dispenses tens here? It's like we're in Shelbyville. <laughs> Peach, don't make me go get that money. <laughs> As go if ahead, you'd have up? the balls what's to up? get them. <laughs> All right. My I question don't. is, how much of a rage does it make you when Asterios forgets that your name is Dick? I don't care. You don't care? No, you don't I, don't, care? I don't even care. That's the... Uh, on the things that people accuse me of being, a real person is very low on the list. <laughs> Fair enough. Very fucking low. The fact that he still talks to me, he can call me whatever he wants. That makes me want to cry. I'd, uh, I'd like to open with an apology, actually. Right here, right here. Get it up to your mouth. I'm sorry, I'm fucking retarded. Um, <laughs> A lot of people are. It's totally cool. He speaks pretty well. I, uh, I, I, was a, I can sight sing, Son. I was a trained singer. 
Um, I wanted to uh, open with an apology, actually. So um, most of you have actually heard me screaming before. Um, on episode 46 of a show that I'm not allowed to talk about because it's trademarked. Oh, yeah. Um, a guy called in, and he was uh, upset because he was sick of the Titanic segment. And he accused you of having a three-centimeter dick. And he what? He accused you of having a clit, you know, a three-centimeter penis. Oh, I remember that, yeah. That was me. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, after that came on, and I listened to it, the first thing that came through my mind was, boy, I was really fucking drunk. <laughs> the second thing that came through my mind was, maybe I'm too hard on dick. And then, hey, maybe, maybe I, I am, am a fucking, fucking idiot. idiot. And then, maybe I think I'm a lot smarter than I am. And then, on from that point, is when I started to realize, you were actually fucking right. And that guy was an idiot. <laughs> Apology accepted. Thank oh, you. And my, my stupid question, my retardo question was, were the snacks generic? <laughs> <laughs> I never even ate the fucking snacks. <laughs> were they? I ate the snacks. <laughs> the fucking snacks. Uh, they were that amazing uh, luxury brand Kirkland Farms. <laughs> all right, we got, ten, we got ten more minutes, and then we're going to wrap up, and then we can all hang out. They, Nick, the theater manager, the boss here, agreed to keep it open for us to continue, you know, drinking and fucking around. Yeah, thank you. And he's regretting that. So a couple more. What do, what do you got, buddy? What's you got? Uh, hi, I'm really into audio engineering, and I just wanted to ask Sean a couple of questions. No. How do you delete it? <laughs> yeah, how do you delete it? But um, my real question is, there are situations such as talking to your girlfriend or being in business meetings where you are a rage inside, but it is not appropriate to be a rage on the outside. How do you keep it into yourself and make it through your day without doing something ridiculous? Yeah, man, that's stage three. You just gotta blank out. It's totally, totally did like one of John Podesta's arts. <laughs> Whatever that figure is, that's not, it's not, it's not me they're talking about. It's some other guy who's, I'm watching this on a television in an insane asylum. I'm watching people speak to me in this way. Yeah, it is how it feels. I don't, well, what's your, what do you want out of it? You know what it is? You, you light into somebody and it's just never as good as you think it's gonna be. Because the words get all jammed up in your mouth, and you're like, ah, fuck, I sound like a real asshole. I know. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Try it. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> fuck it. I just sit there like, oh my god, I can't take this. I just want to keep it inside. You gotta, no, 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 you gotta pay it forward. <laughs> you got like kids or a dog, you get <laughs> home and you fucking hammer them. You say, you're gonna be real good at sports, oh. you motherfucker. <laughs> You get out there and play every day because my boss is mean to me. I don't know. What do you think? How do you keep it inside? Oh, I have a post-it. I have one of those uh, little electronic a cat, post-it A cat notes. poster. Just hang in there. That'll pick yeah. you right up. <laughs> that cat died a long time ago. Uh, no, I, uh, I have a post-it open on my laptop at all times that says, is this really that important? And that kind of calms me down because it's hard when... Everyone around you is wrong. And like, I know that that's a thing that huge idiots say, and that if you think everyone else is crazy, you're the crazy one. But sometimes you're in a situation where you're like, everyone is fucking this up, and everyone is doing this wrong. And if I say something, I'm the asshole. So I do exactly what you talk about. I just go numb. I like, tr I remember, I think about songs, and I just like try to let the light leave my eyes, and it's like, hopefully soon, I'll be able to go home. I think I can, about like, tits myself. mostly. I think about tits mostly. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good one. Good luck. Future office shooter right there. <laughs> <laughs> so Dick. How do you wing, man, for somebody that doesn't know how to be wing mun? Like, oh my how, do, God. how do you wing, man, for somebody that doesn't understand how to hit on women in the first place? Oh, I need man. real advice. 
How do you wing man a, a stubborn... Like, for somebody that's never hit on a woman before. Like but he needs light. Like Denzel, exactly right? Exactly like Denzel. You just got You know how, like, they expose robots in movies by asking them logical fallacies <laughs> and then they short circuit? You got to do that with the guy. You have to break And then hope... Trip. Yeah, you just got to hit them with that. Like, maybe you, like... Maybe you're self-sabotaging, and it's not. You shouldn't actually treat all women like your grandmother, and you just don't want to get laid. And then they sit there going, uh, and then you just get to work, and they're the strong, silent type. So, like, is there, is there any way to break that circuitry of man where, like, well, it's a catch twenty-two, man. They got you got to get them laid. That's the only way to break it. It's this cruel trick that God played on us. I don't even know if God could have made a trick this complicated. Who's, is your friend here? No, he's no. not. That's I came his, here solo. That's a start. He is the oh, he is the friend. A hundred percent. This is all about me. Thanks, Dick. What do you think? What do you think, Peach? You're always, you're into wing manning. That's hard. Um, I mean, it depends. How much money does your friend have? And are they willing to go to a prostitute to just get that shit over with? Uh, well, he's fucked. <laughs> Sorry. St- give him, stump him. You gotta trick him. Yeah, Sorry. you gotta trick him. <laughs> oh, he's not. Is that? Are you the friend? Go ahead. Go ahead. What do hey, you got? Hey, uh, Jack. I did a bunch of thumbnails for the old show. Um, I'm just wondering what kind of shit you had to deal with for some of those behind the scenes. Well, you saw. If I forwarded you, you're talking about the thumbnails for the biggest problem. If I forwarded you any of it, it's just like these weird notes. Oh, yeah. You want everyone else to know your pain. <laughs> Go ahead. You can tell them. This guy, you, I remember your thumbnails. They were fucking great. The first one comes in, it's fucking great. And then it's like uh, this, this blue. It's like that scene in Fight Club. Like, this needs to be more blue. It's like, I don't know, man. Pages of emails. Yeah. I mean, imagine being his girlfriend. She probably gets the same fucking... This is, this is a list of critiques on the way you touch my penis. And it's just not enough over and over again. <laughs> I just want an affirmative head nod from Mysterios and Paige. You want to do it at the same time? My pleasure. Three, two, two one. one. Mm. <laughs> also... Dustin, are you still mad that I made fun of you on Facebook? Her dirt. Are you still mad that I made fun of you on Facebook? Her dirt. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm Nova on Facebook. It's Facebook <laughs> shit. I don't know. <laughs> Her dirt. No. no, he's a good guy. He's all right. You ever been behind some guy who is going 20 miles an hour under the speed limit? Yeah. How much does that piss you off? I can't get around him? Right. I mean, you know, I, I, I text most of the time while I'm driving, so I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty easy going. I mean, for example... You know what I noticed here? You guys have traffic jams, like, in, the, in regular streets. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to traffic jams in a big free, in like where it feels like you're one of the Roman phalanx because you're on a gigantic freeway that's seven lanes across and you're all marching in the same direction. At least you feel like you're a part of a team, like you're a part of a movement. But here, you're jammed up while you're driving down Sesame Street and I feel like <laughs> dragging a fucking pedestrian beside the car because they're walking faster than me. That, was, that made me fucking insane the other day when we were trying to get home. Oh yeah, it drives me nuts. I mean, I'm from Baltimore. Put, you, put that thing up. Oh, too sorry. Uh, I'm from Baltimore, so yeah. you know th- that kind of thing happens all the time. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I drive from Baltimore to Virginia every day. Yeah. And it drives me insane. People are going like 40 in the left-hand lane every fucking night. Yeah. Uh, the best thing, like, they're not gonna understand. That you're gonna have to explain the premise of that to kids someday, when nobody's driving anymore, and it's all. And then, it, then it's gonna be even worse. It's yeah. like, why did we, we just had that, we were so pissed for so long. Yeah, fuck that. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got? 
What are you guys playing uh, Cat's Cradle over there? What the hell's going uh, on? My boyfriend John brought me here from Manhattan. I was like, did you bring me to a fucking Trump rally? Because I've never seen the show before. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he did. Great. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Um, what do you hate paying taxes if it benefits you or can benefit you? I'm not saying that it does benefit you Nothing right now. Nothing benefits but it, you. But it could. It could benefit you. How, is it ta- how are taxes going to benefit me? Well, I nothing, want to live in Mad Max. Nothing for free, I like bro. that future. All right. Uh, as a fellow liberal, we really got to pick our battles here. I have a question for Sean. Where can I square some weed in this city? <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing for him. Well, you know. <laughs> He's too high. I, th- I think those search oh dogs. Is in that like a wink room, and meet him back outside some. of the theater? All right, guys. Yeah. That's a, yeah, well, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to your questions just now with the microphone. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Should have done that before. I'll take that. Thank you guys for coming. This is the first one we did. It got out of control quickly. All of a sudden, people are flying in from Switzerland. And we're in an attic down the street. I'm like, I don't think this is going to fucking work, man. Thank you for coming. Santa Cuck, thank you for coming. Thank you for the sing-along. Peach, thank you for the disgusting story. (laughs) It's much worse when it's animated. It is. It is. Sean. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody who came out. I am, for sure, without a doubt, way more confused than I have ever been in my life. <laughs> Thank you, thanks, BD guys. Beats. Thank you, BD Beats, for setting this whole thing up, basically. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the Patreon. Thanks for keeping this show alive. I was going to be thrilled if we made fucking $400 a month on that Patreon. Yeah. Oh, God, that's right. I got a nuclear cost bomb. Spotlight, please. Thank you for reminding me. You know, Maddox has been uh, threatening uh, 80s girl on, on, on private Twitter messages. He's saying that he's accusing her of things. It's the same kind of lying and implying shit he's doing to me, saying it's going to cost her a job. What? I, didn't know, I didn't know how to handle it. It's like, ah, oh, fuck him. But she was going through some of her stuff the other day. Old stuff, unpacking. And she found an envelope. She's never seen it before. What's this envelope? Weird. Maybe I should just throw it away. Nah. I'll take a look at what's inside. <laughs> it is a post-breakup. Please get back together with me. Letter. What is it, two pages? Two pages long. And now, I have it. Thank you for coming. Welcome to season two of The Dick Show. See you next Tuesday. Go fuck yourselves. Can you guys play that intro song again? Stand up, stand up, everybody stand up. Stand up over here. 